Guys, you know what? I can't wait any longer. We are ready. We should be fine. Let me know if the audio sounds too loud on one thing or the other, as I had a little bit of issues with my setup here. But Dino, dude, welcome in. The real deer slayer. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? My service is bad, so I might be late in chat. No worries about that. That is all good. But we are here. The angler is live. We can play. I can finally share this game with you. I have been so excited about this and I hope you guys are just as excited about it as I am because man oh man this game is fun and before I go off talking any longer let's start with something you know a little bit more relaxed I haven't tried this frog out too much um, but I figured this might be a good place to start so why don't we do that and why don't we see if we can reel in our first fish? But what do you guys think about the game so far? Have you guys seen some of the videos? I'm sure most of you have seen the um, uh, the gameplay trailer that came out like two or three hours ago. Man, that thing was done very well. I, I thought it would show off maybe a little bit more gameplay, but the way it was presented, I think it was really good. It was really helpful in terms of information there. And... I hope you guys are excited as I am about this because, man, I cannot wait for you guys to come jump in here and hop in on the multiplayer sessions. Which, once we reel this in, I'll quickly show you guys actually what I mean with that. Oh, I see a fish there. All right, let's try and get this here. Come on. Can we get a fish in on our first reel? Usually, usually when I have camera rollings, I get more fish, which is really good to see. But let's look. Can we get this lucky today as well? I'll slow down the speed as well so he has a bit of a better chance to chase that frog there but let's look um nope all sounds good how you doing today i'm doing pretty good dino dude i am pretty i am doing pretty good indeed for sure but you know definitely doing better than yesterday yesterday was was a bit of a low moment but today i am just excited I watched your vid that you put up. Perfect. That's awesome. So what do you think about it, Dino Dude? From like the first things. Obviously, I mean, you haven't seen much, but from your first, uh, from your first little, uh, watch and see, what do you, what do you think? What are you, what are you feeling about the game? Are you excited? Oh, there's a nice fish. Do you know what? Let's, let's cut this. Let's see if we can't get that guy over there. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, let's go slower. Come on. You see the fish there right at the end? Oh, strike. There we go. Hunter Typhoon. Welcome, welcome. I'll read your message in just a second. Give me one second here. Hey, Kinsko, what do you think about the angler right now? Man, I am loving this game. I have been so excited to share it with all of you all. Like, you can't even imagine how excited I am about this. I, I am really excited. The game has a steep learning curve. I'll give it that. But, like, I am just loving it. I, I'm having a lot of fun. And I think once I can get in with some more people, get in some calls on Discord maybe, and kind of have a uh, a joint kind of uh, gameplay with talking with other people. Because I did that a little bit with uh, Trophy Hunters yesterday, who was a German YouTuber. And we've done stuff with him before in the past. And I think that is going to be really the, the bread and butter of this game, is the ability to play with other people, the ability to see where they are, and it not first-hand being a single-player game, but a multiplayer game, is for me just something big. Like, I love that. And look, our first fish live. We got ourselves a rainbow trout silver at 2.66 kg. For anybody that uses pounds, that's roughly about 6 pounds there, give or take a little bit. But man, I am just loving this game. I'm having a lot of fun here. Even though there is, like I said, a steep learning curve here that you kind of have to get over. Um, but uh, we have talked about that in, in the Discord and stuff. And I think from as far as I understood, this is obviously not anything official. What kind of the feeling I get is that they kind of want to put out some more info so that people have a little bit of an easier start. Um, when they start off and definitely I think that uh, gameplay reveal trailer helped out a lot like I learned a lot from that especially in the end when it talked a little bit more about the temperature 
the depth of the water and where certain fish are. And I think something like that is just going to help out a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, I was skeptical at first, but after watching some gameplay, it seems actually really good. It is, like, it is very good. Obviously, there are a couple of things where I'm like, uh, should be changed. But overall, very fun game. And we already got an update yesterday that fixed quite a lot of things, at least for me personally. So, like, right now, it's just kind of small things that I feel like should be added and, like, quality of life things for me personally. CJO, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, is there fly fishing? I saw on the trailer fly fishing and I wasn't sure if it was in after watching or with. Um, fly fishing. I'm not 100% sure what you mean with fly fishing. If you give me a little bit of context on it, I'm not an actual fit. Like, I don't fish IRL. I have an idea what you mean with flying fishing, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you give me some context, I can tell you yes or no. Uh, really, that's great to hear. Thus far, I've uh, seen what somewhat disappointing, but if core gameplay feels good, then I might change my mind. I am somewhat skeptical on getting it. I'll tell you this much. It is still a core game. Um, I get where you kind of feel about that, but overall, like, let me really show you what I mean. Like, look at the size of this map and the amount of different areas that you can go fish in. It's crazy, like, look at the terrain in this area, uh, and look at the water, even at night. This is more clear in the daytime, but let's fast travel over here real quick. And you can kind of see, like, there's a lot of difference in areas. Like, look, there is very clear water here. Like, you can see a lot more in the water, even in the dark. And that kind of leads to you also being able to see the fishes a little bit more. Let me get on this here and then I can show it a little bit clearer. Um, let's look, can we see any at night now? Usually when you're here, you can occasionally see fish swimming around, even in the water. Um, currently we can't see, oh, there you go. There's one fish back there and another one way off in the distance there. They are a lot easier to spot at night, uh, at day, but let's show you guys another spot. Um, that has a different kind of feel to it. And I think it's... Yeah, this one's going to be a clear difference as well. So let's fast travel there. Um, it's funny how when Early Access was released, like 11 videos were posted by 5 graders. Yeah, like we all got the same release date. So obviously we have been working since, what was it? Tuesday, Monday on these videos. And we've all just been waiting for 6 p.m. Central European summertime to come around and us being able to release our content. It's crazy. We have been waiting like a lot. But you know what? Let's go back here and let's let's do this right now because this is a little bit slower usually. So I can talk with you guys a little bit more and kind of talk about some things and not have as much action in the background. Um, how are you? I'm doing better, CJ. I'm definitely doing better. For sure, for sure, for sure. This is actually also one of the best reels and rods in the game. And I think we might switch that in a second just because currently with the fish or the hooks that we have available or I have on here make this rod a little bit too easy. So I think we'll switch the rod out in just a second uh, so that we have a little bit more fight of the fish because otherwise it seems a little bit, you know, a little bit too easy and a little bit too OP. Um, but once I get those bigger hooks and figure out where those other fish are, I think that's when these kind of rods are definitely going to be necessary. Um, it's a longer rod with a lot of flex in it and you kind of swing the line back and forth uh, to cast a lure that looks like a bug but is made from feathers fur. Um, there is something like that so I feel like what you're talking about here is lure spinning rig. We also have a jig head spinning rig and like if you look actually let's just use this one here. Like, see, we have, like, spinner baits here. There's just spinners there. We have spoon baits, swim baits, crank baits, jerk baits. There's also float things somewhere in here, if I'm not forgetting. There's also frogs. There's a lot of different types of um, lures that you can use. I don't know if you would classify those as spin fishing, but that's definitely something that is in the game as well. 
Don't forget to like. Yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. If you guys are enjoying this treatment, I hope you are, then please do consider leaving a like because it definitely helps out a lot. Hey, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm still really excited, especially after your take on it. I just don't like cutting to a black screen when you catch and water graphics at some places. That is uh, something that at least got fixed yesterday. I know the first video I posted, there was some flickering at the edge of the water at the end. But look, if I look at the edge of the water now, there is like minimal... You guys can't see where my thumb is. But you see where the tip of the rod is? Like there's minimal flickering there. But like you really have to be looking to see that. But I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, obviously. Like otherwise I don't think I'd be playing it, but... Let's try something else here. Let's go maybe 0.5. Let's chuck off in that direction. This kind of... I forget what this is called. Float fishing? Sorry, I'm a little bit... Yeah, float fishing. Float fishing, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert in this. I'm still trying to learn it. But... I've, I've been... I've been getting better. This is probably one of the longest times that I've gone without having any fish bite. But you know what? I see that fish over there, and I know I can get him with a, a spin rig. So let's see if we can get him interested in a frog here. He might bite. I'm not sure. I think that's a rainbow trout. He might also not be interested. Oh, he is. He is interested. Or, no, he's not. Come on. I know you like following these baits. Come on. Um... Nighttime looks really cool. Yeah, I like nighttime in this game more than Call of the Wild. It's still not perfect. I think something still should be changed. But, I mean, you guys can tell me in from your perspective on YouTube if it looks less grainy than on Call of the Wild. Because I find on Call of the Wild a lot of times when I do nighttime videos or nighttime streams, people always complain, oh, it looks too grainy. I can't really see any details. But I feel like in this game, it looks to be a little bit more clear. At least I hope to. I gotta go services too bad. No worries, dear Slayer. I understand. Wet 1440p. That sucks. That's bad. Um. Yeah, no, I enjoy every stream you do, matey. Thank you very much, CJ. That is very, very kind. Very, very, very kind indeed. We cannot get this fish out. Let's, let's get ourselves another... Another thing on here. Let's go with a spinner bait because I know that rainbow. I think that's a rainbow trout. They usually like these right here, so let's throw that out there and let's see if he's gonna get interested. Itchy, welcome, welcome. Glad you could join us. Um, yeah, we're playing the angle right now. We've got early access to it. Thank you to that to EW for doing this and just kind of showing off some gameplay, showing off what I've learned so far and try and answer any questions, concerns that you guys might be having about the game before it releases next Wednesday. Yeah, on the 31st is when this game is going to be coming out. At least for PC. You're doing good, AE? That is awesome to hear. Very, very glad to hear that. But yeah, for everybody that just joined, what do you guys think so far of the stuff that you have seen about this game? Um... Are you enjoying it? Do you guys have doubts? Are you gonna be getting the game when it comes out so far? Or are you still waiting until you see some more gameplay over this weekend and next week? All right, let's fill this out a little bit further. I haven't really fished at this lake, so I'm not sure what there is in this area. I'd love to see what the water temperature is, but for that, I need to get an actual fish in here. So let's see if we can't get something here. I see that fish there and I really want him to bite, but I guess he doesn't like the spin bait we have. Um, it's gotten better. I'll try to stay as long as possible. I'm now at 360p. Ooh, that is rough. For a second, when I just saw that comment, I thought that we were having connection issues again. But then I remembered, yeah, you, you're on um, you're on service right now. But how does it look on your guys' end for night hunting? Because I have a, a night hunting, night fishing. Because I have a video coming out tomorrow for night fishing. And when I watch it on my screen, it looks fine. 
but I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just my screen because I know if I drag it onto my other screen that I have, it doesn't look quite as clear. And I just don't know if that's because that's a ten-year-old monitor or if that's just because night fishing doesn't always look the best. Um, that's really cool. I see that you can select the kind of tactic that you're using. Yeah, so currently there are three tactics in the game for fishing, and since nothing's biting, let me just show you. So if you go in here, you can either go float fishing, you can go lure spinning, or you can go jig head spinning rig. I haven't played around with this a lot yet, just because I haven't gotten it. I don't have any idea how to do it. I was also having trouble with this at first, but then I kind of played around with it and I've gotten better at this. But so far, the easiest one to do for me personally was the uh, lure spinning rig there. And then you have a bunch of options on what you want to do or what you can use for lures. And we'll go in the shop in a second and I'll show you guys around there a little bit as well. Um, it's gonna get Mela waiting, waiting for me. Oh, I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna get a Mela Whitetail waiting for me on Rivantul. You go ahead and do that, A. Eh? Good luck on that. No worry, night fishing sucks for us too. Right, okay, we can do something about that. Let's um, go in here. Let's let's go out of multiplayer for a second so I can actually show you this um, live. And let's quickly restart the game because there's no way of changing time. But if we stay on single player, we should be able to force back into daytime. Actually, no, we have to go all the way out of the game. Okay, let's quickly close the game and let's open it up. And then I think we can, then I think we should be able to basically force the game into going into daytime again. Because if you're going on server, you're basically going to go to the time that the server is at at the moment. Um, at least that's how I understood how it works. And there's also a nice awesome video that plays right at the beginning of this. And I just got to quickly fix something. There we go on the camera and then let's skip this for now you guys can watch that when you start your game there we go okay let's go play golden ridge river and i think we should be at daytime now uh you know youtube compression is always bad at darker stuff so it looks as great as it can be okay but look here we go this is daytime fishing now we're not going to be on any multiplayer server we might do that again later but for now let's try and go fishing in the daytime Let's see if we can actually get something here. Um, I'm still waiting to see more gameplay. I'm a bit skeptical about spending a whole lot on a fishing game because they get pretty boring after a while. But this game might be different. I mean, I get that. There's a lot to explore in this game, though. I'll give you... I'll tell you that much. Because um, that's what I find with other fishing games. Like, you usually have, like, four or five maps with, like, a lake the size of the one that we're at right now. And you kind of are able to catch every species within like an hour or so of like once you obviously figured out. So it takes you maybe like 10 hours of gameplay to get every single fish there is. Whereas here, I think I have 24 hours, 26 hours in this game right now. And out of the 12 fish species, I think I still have four or five that I haven't actually gotten. And why is it becoming night? I shouldn't be able to join multiplayer. Oh, I still am. Um, where do I change that? Oh, settings. I did not want this to become nighttime. Off. Let's do that. Now, should I be going back on my own map? Okay, that didn't work. This is one of the things that is a little bit annoying. Uh, let's see if I now join a multiplayer game. If maybe... I join one that's during the daytime. Can't wait to buy the game. Also, thank you for changing the time for us. Yeah, we'll. Tr okay, I just realized the mistake we were doing. Let's give it a second to see if we can join a multiplayer session. If not, we'll go out and we'll do the whole thing again. And then from the main menu, I'll turn off multiplayer. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, because then at least we'll have like an hour of daytime. Yes, let's exit to desktop. Let's open this up. And then I think from the main menu, I should be able to just disable that. 
Um, I love artwork for these sorts of game. That cover art is a beauty. Which cover art do you mean? Um, to be specific, because I like this. Like I, I'm, I'm debating if I like this new updated kind of loading screen and everything that they have going on. Because it almost reminds me, like, when I think about it, I find this looks a lot like kind of the PS5 things with these lines, X's, triangles and stuff. Alright, let's do that. Let's turn that off. And then now I think we should be able to stay in the daytime. Um, am I the only one who plays hunting slash fishing games? So I don't think I'll get it. Dear Slayer, I don't think that comment made a hundred percent sense, because the way it sounds is you're saying you're you only play hunting fishing games, and so that's the reason you won't get it, or are you saying that you don't really play them, so that's why you won't get the game? A little bit confused by what you mean there, but let's give this one more shot. And if we can't get anything here, I think we might just move to another location. Thank you to whoever just subscribed. I don't know why the alert wasn't showing, but somebody just subscribed. Oh, Ichi subscribed. Thank you very, very much. That is greatly, greatly appreciated. I hope you'll enjoy the content here on the channel. We can see little fishes swimming around here. Obviously nothing huge. They are quite small, but let's look if we can't maybe... You know what we should maybe do? We should maybe go with the lure that I know I'll catch something with. Instead of experimenting around live. Um, which one's the five? Oh wait, I have it on here, don't I? Yeah, I have it on here. Right, let's put... Let's put that on there. And then let's put this on here. This one's so far, I think, been my most successful um, bait that I've used. Out of all the other ones that I have tried, at least so far. Uh, you know when they always put on EW streams the official man uh, fishing on the lake one? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know which one you mean. I, I was about to use that one as like the background for the thumbnail, or at least one that was very similar. But then I decided to go with a, a different one instead because I just felt it was it was better. One thing I really like is being able to see the fishes in the water. I do like that as well. You don't see that. At, oh, there's a big fish there. Well, not big, big fish, but something bigger. Let's see if we can attract this guy's attention with this bait. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Come on. Chase it. Chase it. There we go. We got him. Let's just reel him in now. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Don't swim away. Come in. Let the viewer see you. But yeah, I, I, I like that a lot. That's why I like one of those other lakes at the top. Uh, but you only catch rainbow trout and golden trout really there. And I've been fishing for those quite a bit. But we might go there later because there's a little bit more action overall. But I think that's... Ooh, that's a bronze. I thought that was at least be a silver. But he is 2.17 kg at least. Uh, yeah, okay, it's like 10 Celsius in here. Okay. So I think there should be pike around here as well. Um, let's see if there's anywhere where it's a little bit more of a grassy area. Um... doesn't look to be too grassy here. At least I'm seeing some of the fish here. But they're all too small for us to actually catch. You know what? Why don't we take a boat out? And I'll show you guys kind of some of the boat fishing. Also, sorry if this seems a little bit like hectic and we're kind of doing everything. I just want to show you guys a little bit of diversity of the game. And what are the things... Ooh, hold up. That's a nice fish right there. Let's see, can we get him, maybe? Alright. Let's see if we can get this guy in. I'm not sure he'll like this... This lure. Oh wait, he does. Okay, okay, okay. He likes that lure. Let's see if he'll follow it. I need to get more... More space, though. 
Uh-oh. Can I still get him? There we go. Wait. Come in. Ah. Oops. All right. There we go. Now we got him. All right. He's putting up a little bit of a fight. But I've noticed that kind of pumping, I believe, is the actual term you use for this. Is quite effective for reeling and fish. Uh, no feeder fishing, no method feeder or nothing. That sucks. Yeah, so you can't actually throw like just breadcrumbs in the water or anything like that. But again, that might be something that will be added uh, in the future. As we know that EW does like to keep our games going for a lot of years and there's obviously more content going to be coming in the future so the more you guys post about something or being like hey i really want to see i don't know mekong catfish in the game on a future map or i really want to see these types of baits being added or i really want to see like lures for nighttime with like glow sticks on the top something like that then if the request is there and the community really wants to see it then i'm sure they'll be really interested in that or carp fishing as well yeah Valko, that's a very good mention there carp fishing is something i'd love to see as well uh, that's something i really enjoyed doing in um fishing sim world pro tour that should be gold there we go very nice not too shabby like that's something i love to see or like being able to go like fishing where you have like i don't know maybe like mackerel huds and you throw three rods out and you can put them down uh, and then you kind of have multiple rods throwing out. I think that'd be something awesome to be added in the future. Um, ooh, level up. 37. I, we just got a bunch of cash for that, didn't we? Yeah, 841. That's not too shabby. Um, but we'll just have to see kind of what else might become. Um, was the release date moved? As far as I know, it shouldn't be removed. Bingo, welcome in, by the way. Um, release date is still planned, at least as far as I know. Let me quickly go check. Um, is still the 31st of August. So next Wednesday is when you guys on PC should be able to get it. And then for console, they're aiming, I believe they said, for the end of the year. But don't quote me on that. It might be, um early next year but I'm pretty sure they said end of this year um, the fighting in this game looks so good it does but one thing like I said at the beginning um, don't upgrade your gear too fast because otherwise you kind of lose the progression like don't try and save up for like the best rod and the best reel straight away um, unless you really plan on going for the biggest fish straight off the bat because otherwise it could get a little bit easy from what I've noticed so far. Um, but then again, I also was using like 15 kilogram line reels and rods for like 5 kilogram fish, you know. Um, how can you earn cash in this game? So you earn cash in this game by leveling up, by unlocking areas of the map. You get um, cash by fish occasionally. And you also get... Uh, cash for uh, doing like missions there's like kind of mission things that you can do around the map I'll show you guys in a second we'll go back to the main lodge uh, and I'll show you guys the shop I'll show you guys the outpost there and I'll show you what I mean in terms of like missions that you can do there's no actual story mission as far as I could find here but there is like side quests that you can do that you can get cash where you have to go to like a specific location catch fish here um or go here and try and catch a fish using this gear stuff like that that's kind of the whole gist of missions that i found oh was that a salmon why oh, i don't think i have one of those will he go for this he doesn't seem to be too interested. But that's a salmon. I don't have one of these yet. I'd love to try and get one of them. All right, okay. Let's let's try and throw this in front of him. Let's see if we can get him attracted that way. Come on, salmon. Tell me you like this. Oh, he's swimming away. Oh, nope. 
let's switch position on the boat here. Uh, let's go right here. Alright, let's see. Can we get him in with this bait? Ooh, he doesn't seem interested. He does not seem interested. Uh, I still hate not being able to see the catching in action. It's fading to black when you catch. It's really the immersion breaks for me. I don't find it that bad personally, but I get what you mean. However, I've noticed that if you catch a smaller fish, you sometimes hear like a smack. Like as if the fish smacks you in the face. Which I find quite funny. Uh, it doesn't happen every time, but it does occasionally happen. Okay, this guy doesn't like this bait at all. What does he like? What do salmon like? Let's look in the handbook if it tells me. Crankbait, jerkbait. Okay, let's let's try a crankbait then maybe. I should have one of those, right? Jerkbait. Oh, but I only have a really big one. Uh, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's see if he'll bite on this. Where did he go? Where did he go? That's him back there, right? Alright, let's see. That's a smaller one there. But that does look to be the same color. Let's see if we can get one of them in with this. Okay, that's a good thing to know that crankbaits and that salmon are in this area. I haven't caught one of them. I really want to try and get one. And that one looked big as well. Right, while we load that, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Alright, let's go to the front of the fish, the front of the boat again. And let's see if he'll take this. Because this should be more in his, his appetite. Oh, he won't take it either. Do I have to move it faster maybe? Right, maybe I should have looked what I have to use for this. Um, sink or diving, stop and go twitching. Okay, so I think we have to let it sink a little bit. And I think now we should be able to reveal it back in. Um, where was I? Um, yep, carp fishing with rod pod, no sig and signals. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, and that's something I do want to really see. Because that's something that I quite enjoy doing as well. Um, in other fishing games uh, that I have played. Mainly speaking about fishing SimWorld Pro Tour. Uh, and I've noticed I have quite really been liking to that there. So I think that would be cool if they add that. Oh, he's going under. Come on. Go bite. I really want to try and get one of these, but I only have two big hooks. I think for him to bite it, I think he's not quite big enough to bite on this bait, which is why he's not biting. Or he just doesn't want to bite, I don't know. It's got to be one of those two though. I can't imagine that if maybe we had a smaller bait, maybe he'd like that more. That sounds funny. It is quite funny. It is, it is an interesting sound that you get. It doesn't happen every time, like I said. But especially if you're catching in smaller fish and it goes a lot quicker, you kind of feel like a little pfft in the background and it sounds like you're getting smacked in the face by some, some fish there. Oh, that's what you mean, uh, Deer Slayer. You're the only one in your family who plays these games. Ah, oh, okay. I understand what you mean then. But like I said, you can also just meet random people online. Like where we were earlier, for example, none of those guys were on my were my uh, Apex friend list. But you know, you just get put together with them. Um, now you don't necessarily have to play with them. Like you can kind of just go do whatever you want. And even if they circle around you with a boat, that's not going to affect your your fishing. Fishes are not affected in that sense. That if you drive around with a boat, that they'll automatically be like going away. Like, that's just not how the game is, in that sense. I really wish we could have gotten that Sam in there. That is sad. That is sad. I wanted to try and get him. I really, really did. Because I have not caught one of them so far. And that guy looked big as well. I see some more fish, like, up in that direction. So you know what, let's 
Let's put a different lure on here again. Oh, wait, we had a crankbait on here. What size is this? What size did we use here? Okay, they're both the same. You know what? Should we come back here in a second with maybe some... With maybe some better gear, um, or the right size hooks at least, and try this again. Uh, ah, by the way, did you play Way of the Undrafted Patch yesterday? I did play it for a little bit. I didn't play very long, I'm going to be honest. But that was just because uh, it was getting late. I was still working on a video for tomorrow. I was working on the video I still posted yesterday with the patch. But the mission did get fixed. Um, I didn't really get to do any hunting. But from what I saw on the Discord and what people were saying is that overall they were seeing more blood. It was easier to track. They were having less issues with that. But new bugs arrived. I'm not 100% sure what those bugs were. But I do know that there were new bugs that came out. Oh, what's that there? I see that on right. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Oh, I want to get that guy. He looks big. That could be a gold or a diamond, maybe. Just need to get him interested. Come on, big boy. I know you want to. Come on. See my lure? It's just to the right of you. Yes, right direction. Come on. Ah, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Alright, maybe we can get something else. But yeah, we've been quite unsuccessful right now. Damn. Usually spit fishing doesn't isn't this bad, but Um did you know that rainbow trout are actually part of the fam salmon family? I didn't know it for sure. I feel like they look very similar, but I definitely didn't know that was actually the case. I just thought that they were maybe like closely related at some point in the past. All right. I don't want to bite. Let's try one smaller rig one more time. Actually, you know what? Why don't we try this? What do I have on here, by the way, for food? Yeah, you know, let's try this out. Let's go with the run rod. And let's see. Oh, that's right on him. Oh, is he going to take it? What do you guys think? You think he's going to take it? Um, yeah. Mislabeling issue was the only one I saw. Matures are labeled as youngs. They also launched beta branches today. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that they launched those um, beta branches for people to join in and explain exactly how they should join, could join, and what they should do. Nina, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're excited as I am about this new game. Let's give this like another minute and if it doesn't work, I'll show you guys what the outpost looks like. I don't think anything's gonna bite. Right, I see one more fish here. Let, let's see who's the best rear. So oh, there's a big fish back there. Oh. You guys see him? That is one big boy. I actually know what I know what I know what lure we have to use for him. Right, let's use this. Let's use yeah. Let's use this. Let's switch to that rod. Oh no, we're gonna have to use a little bit of a further throw. Oh, come on, be interested. I know you like that. That looks to be a very big rainbow trout. And yeah, he's interested in that bait. He is interested. Come on. Could that be a diamond? What are you guys thinking? He looks big. He looks very big. All right, let's slow it down. Oh, he's on. Oh, snap. He's on. Oh, boy. I can't let him get to that bridge. Because if he gets to that bridge, this line is probably going to snap. So I got to keep him under 30 meters. All right, let's pump, let's pump the living F out of him so he gets tired quickly. 
Oh, buddy. Come on. Let's turn up the drag. Oh, no. He's getting to that bridge. He is getting to that bridge. Come on. Come in here. Oh, yes. Get cornered in the corner there. Tie yourself out. All right, we might have to increase the drag. Oh, buddy. Come on. Come on. I know you want to come in here. Don't go to that bridge. No, no, no. Alright, let's prevent him from going out. Come on. Oh, no, that was too much. That was too much. Okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's getting tired. He is getting tired. Currently fighting with a ton of mosquitoes. My whole body is itchy. Oh, no, Nina. That doesn't sound good at all. If you want to help mosquitoes, you can... Uh, if you take like a spoon and dip it in some hot water and hold that over the uh, the mosquito bites, uh, it does help numb the itchiness. A oh no! Ooh. We almost lost him there. We almost lost him there. Oh, he's getting he's getting some distance on us again. Uh, if you do that, that can help. Oh no! He's getting out of. Come on. We're fighting with this guy now. This guy better be a diamond. <laughs> oh, buddy. Thank you, Typhoon, for that. That is greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this. This might just be a gold as well. Like, these rainbow trouts can, when they're big, really be a pain in the backside to try and reel in. This is like one of those fish where I wish I actually had my bigger rod right now. And I probably should have used that. But, hey. At least you guys can see the, the fighting mechanic now in this game a little bit better as well. Right, let's, let's try and speed him in here. Come on, big boy. Come on now. Come in here. He's still gaining distance on us. Alright, let's force him where it is. So he can't get any line more. We just have to be careful with how much tension we put on here now. Alright, let's pump him again. Alright. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Come on, get in here. Get in here. Oh, we've got him but with low 20. Yes. Come in. Come on, get under 15. Oh, that was close. That was close there again. You saw that there? You heard the lion. I was like, oh snap, we about to lose him. Get in here. Come on. Yes. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh. Problem is I also don't see him. So I can't actually judge currently what his behavior is like because occasionally with these fish what you can do is like if you see them underwater you can kind of predict what they want to do like if they're going to try and run off again but like with him being a meter 20 underwater like the only thing i can go off is the tension of the line which with him is like varying a lot um this is fishy <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it before I was leaving. I gotta go now, but have a wonderful stream. Thank you very much, Typhoon. Have a good rest of your day. And I hope to catch you in another one in the future. Alright, here we go. Come on. 
We're tiring him out. That's the good point, at least, right? Like, we're getting him to a point where he's not going too far. Um, I was waiting for an opportunity, but I never came up for that pun. I'm sure you would have had at least one point at some point here to get that. Ooh, there we go. He jumped out the water. He's at the top now. Once they start jumping, usually in at least what I've noticed, that usually means that they... These are like their last desperate attempts to try and get away. So we should have him. I feel like if he's going to jump once or twice more, he's in. He is going to be ours. Come on, just stay below 10 meters and we're good. Just below 10 meters and we'll be fine. Yes. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, big boy. I see him now. I start, I'm starting to see his tail. He's still trying to swim away. But I don't think he has the power anymore. Like, look, he's always trying to get a meter again, but then he he loses the energy to do that. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a trout fight last this long, even in IRL. To be fair, I think this guy weighs more than 10 kilos, and all the gear I'm using is rated for like 4 or 5 kilos at the moment. So we are going way over what we're supposed to be catching in with this, but okay. There he is. He's in. Once we get him one more time below 4 meters, we should have him. Look at him fight. And there we go. Yes, sir. Look at him. Oh, he's a gold. 7.68 kg. Damn, this guy put up a fight. Phew. Sheesh. That's crazy. He's almost 80 centimeters long. That's insane. That was a long fight. Did anybody look when we started that fight? I felt that was a good five, six, seven minutes. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Whew. That was crazy. All right, let's let's take a picture of him. Cause that was that was a big fish. Whew. Let's look what gear we took this guy with. So he was 7.96, something like that. Let's look what we had on here. So, yeah, we <laughs> we had a reel that was not very strong. And we had a 5 kilogram uh, line. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, Dustin, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. I. All right, let's look if we can see that. Oh, there's another one there. I really want to go for him, but oh wait, what do I see back there, folks? I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. I said I was gonna go. I know I said I was gonna go. What's it called? Get better gear to try and go for these. Uh, for these salmon, but. I just saw two very big fish back here. Where are they now? There we go. There's one of them. Let's see if we can get this guy interested in our bait. Because he looked decent as well. And then we'll go... I, I promise, after this fish, we'll go back to the mainland. And we'll go take a look at Outpost. Okay, that's a golden trout, not an actual rainbow trout. So he should be a lot easier to get in because he's only like two kilograms. So he shouldn't be fighting as much, I believe. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, please do definitely go ahead and leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Wait. Come in here now. Come on, big boy. That's a gold. That's a very nice gold as well. Perfect. Okay. I promised. I promised. I promised. We'll come back here. We'll come back here. But first, let's go to the shop. Uh, so the rating in this is the same as the hunter. None 
Uh, so no, it's juvenile, bronze, gold, diamonds, and I don't believe there's any great ones as of right now. But who knows, maybe you might get one in the future. And I turned voices off just because she talks a lot. Um, but I will show you very quickly. Audio and language. Let's turn her to here for now. So if you hear a voice in a second, let me go away and you'll hear it, I think. There we go. This is Sophia. This is the, the store owner. So let me turn her off again. Because she talks too much and that's just distracting for when I'm streaming. So let's go ahead and buy. So what you can do here is you can see your storage. So this is kind of all the stuff that you currently have but are just not using. And... You can see all your different types of lures here. You can see your different types of hooks, your baits, your floats, your jig heads, your soft plastics. And you can see here how much of those you can take with you uh, overall. Um, and you can kind of just go here and equip them as need be. Oops, that's not what I went to do. Uh, then you can go customize here. So you can customize your actual character in here with all the different stuff that you own or not own. And then you can also sell stuff here. So you can sell equipment, you can sell apparel, you can sell vehicles. Um, or you can buy. You can buy apparel and I'll show you guys quickly. Look, there is a lot of different things that you can buy in this game. Like, there is a lot of different gear that you can get yourself. And you guys can look at this kind of in peace when you want. But we'll go into the equipment here because I want to try and get myself a... What did we need to get? Oh yeah, we wanted to get ourselves a medium... Oh, we have one of them. Let's get ourselves a six kilogram one as well. And then we wanted to get ourselves a crankbait and a jerkbait at like... You know what? Let's go size... Three, and then let's get ourselves a size four jerk bait. Why not? What else do we maybe want? I've got a proper, but no, we'll keep it like this for now. And then, you know, what? I wanted to see if these do any difference later as well. All right, so let's go on to customization. Hermandes, welcome in, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you in here. Not quite sure if you're speaking another language or what language that is, but welcome in nonetheless. All right, so which one are we not going to need? I don't think we're going to use the 20 kilograms either way. Let's get the sixth one in here. All right, this one I don't really use. The frog we've used. This one we're not going to use. Swim bait. I think we can fit both of these in here, but I'll take the heavier ones out for now. Oh, that one's equipped. Alright, hooks were all good. These were all good on. Let's take one of these away. Let's take a cork with us. And you know what? Let's try and take the cigar with us. And then let's try go back and let's try and get ourselves... Oh, where were we? Think we were here? Let's try and get ourselves a salmon in. I really want to get myself one of those. I don't have one, like I said. So we'll try now. And if we get a small one, we get a small one. But that's okay. Right? Was this where we were? Oh, by the way, these are the missions that I was talking about earlier. So each outpost has these. And there's like fishing challenges... Um, that you can go ahead and do in like map challenges as well and let me show you what they look like right now so you'll have stuff like this like catch a silver rank golden trout at this location uh, catch a silver rank rainbow trout at the photo location catch a silver rank large bath at this location um, and all that good stuff um, and they are quite fun to do I haven't really done any I just did one of them so far but they are definitely... 
something interesting to try. Alright, let's get ourselves a boat again. Which one would we do? Yes, let's try this one. Can I see anything from here? No, but I see a tiny golden trout down there. <laughs> Alright, let's get in the boat and let's see if we can see anything. Lego. Where were we when we just saw them? Wasn't it somewhere around here? I think we were roughly in this area. Alright, let's equip the rod with... What did we need again for them? Crankbait, jerkbait, or grub. Okay. Let's equip this guy with a little bit higher tier that. And then... You know what? Let's go with this first and see how that goes. And then let's scour around if we see any fish. Oh, they see something back there. All right, let's try that again. M. Flinko, welcome in. Good to see you here. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And let's see. Can we get ourselves one of those Falmen? That would just be awesome. I haven't caught one of them, like I said. And I really want one. I really, really, really desperately want to try and get myself one. Or at least get one of every fish at some point. And currently we are missing... We're missing the bluegill. We're missing the lake trout. Um, we're missing the sauger. And we are missing the kokani salmon. Well, it's bright for a second there. Alright. Around. Oh, I see one back there. Come on. Please be interested. Please be interested. No, he's not interested in that at all. Ah, because it's too far away from him, I think. Let's try and predict where he's going to go. And then at like, oh, three speed. Let's see if we can't maybe potentially almost snipe him. Let's go at one piece. Salmon fishing. Yeah, we are going salmon fishing right now. I haven't caught one yet. And I really try and get, gonna get this one that's right in front of us. That is just really, really, really avoiding our bait. Oh, he's looking interested. Oh, he's not. Come on, be interested. Be interested. Ah. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back from... No, he's not. Oh, he is now, is he? Oh, he's looking interested. He's going away. Ah, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it at all. Uh, are we using a kayak or a boat, Logan? We are using a boat. Um, I can show you the boat in just a second. Let me just try and throw one more lure out here. And this salmon's pranking us, let me tell you. He doesn't want this out. Let's try and get this down. Uh, Alex, welcome in. Will there be support for the Russian language? I'm not sure. I haven't checked that yet. Why don't we go in here? What language is that? French, German, Spanish, Russian. There is Russian in here. Polish, Japanese, simplified Chinese, and English. So, yeah. It looks to be supported. Uh, wait, so is it possible to go up the rivers? Um, yes, you can go up rivers as far as I know. Uh, there are going to be some parts of the river that I think you're only going to be able to access by foot. But those narrows are those rivers are going to be very narrow. So going through there with a boat seems very unrealistic either way. But you should be able to go to every part of the map... Um, regardless, either by foot or by uh, by boat or even by car as well. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, let's see if we can get him interested. Let's let the lure think about that. Um, about that, thank you for the information. No worries, no worries. If you have any other questions, I will try and do my best to answer them as best I can. I won't have the answer to everything, 
but from what I can say or what I can tell, I'll definitely try my best to help you out there. But welcome in you guys. If you guys are enjoying the stream, I hate to ask this, but please do consider leaving a like as in YouTube's eyes, that is like one of the best things you can do other than writing in chat here. Like those are the two biggest things that help out on YouTube's end. Uh, is there any other lures? Yes, there is quite a few, quite a few different types of lures. So as I said, there's like crankbait, jerkbaits, frogs. There's top water lures. There's um, spinners. There's spoons. There's another type of spin, of spinners. I don't quite know them off the top of my head. Then there's also. Um, I'll show you guys in a second once this thing comes in. Okay, they're not biting on this. So why don't we try something else? Uh, what's the other thing I could use? And I want one of these crankbait, jerkbait, or grub. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different lurks. Spinner baits, spoons, swim bait. Um, I, have, I don't have all of them in here right now, but I do have a good amount of them. Bait. Was that the other one? Right, what do I have currently? I have a crankbait at five. Let's try crankbait at three. See if they might bite on that. Uh, can we get early access or is this exclusive to you and exclusive streamers? This is only um, available to exclusive streamers. Um, either if you have the affiliate status or the partner status uh, like I have. I don't know what the difference is in terms of what accessibility you get as an affiliate streamer or a YouTuber. But I know we got this game, I think, on Monday or Tuesday, and we we're allowed to release um, content without any ratings until Tuesday, I believe. Um, but we can just freely talk about the game, what we've seen, and all of that stuff. There's also float fishing, by the way, to the person that asked earlier what else there is. Um, they should add like a bird watching or wildlife watching part that is like an easter egg uh, of side mission things so you can fish and watch for elk or birds and unlock those too. Would be something interesting. I don't think a majority of players or that's not on their highest tier list of things to do. But like I said, that would be would be something interesting. By the way, I don't mean to be uh, a mean person, but if we could keep chat to English that would be uh, greatly appreciated just so that we're all going to be able to understand chat as I cannot read what I perceive to be Russian. I have like the smallest knowledge of Russian in the world. Um, but just so that everybody else here can understand as well what's going on, it would be greatly appreciated if we could keep it to English. Thank you very much. Ben, welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you here. Uh, the spoons and spinners may be good for most of the fish. Yes, they do seem very good uh, for most things. I haven't been able to get catfish so far yet with uh, these. But for that being said, I have also only managed to get myself one catfish in the entire time. Alright, let's try and see if we can catch whatever that is over there. Otherwise, we're going to have to try some other things. Um, are you going to be fishing all day? Yes, we are going to be going out fishing all day because, I mean, this game came out today. I want to try and show it off as best I can and just show all the different things you can do. Uh, what species have I caught? So I have caught golden trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, rainbow trout. Um, I have caught the yellow perch, I believe. I've caught those. I've caught the channel catfish, and I've caught um, white heart something fish. What is it called? Here, I've called mountain white fish, rainbow trout, northern pike, yellow perch, channel catfish, golden trout, smallmouth bass, and largemouth bass. That are the different fish that I've caught so far. Alex, please, I will only ask one more time. Also, Alex D and Alex Fresh, keep the chat in English, please. Otherwise, we are going to have to take out those messages. 
because I want everybody, including myself, to be able to understand what is being talked about here. Right, come on. Get one of them in. Man, this guy back there. We've been trying to get that guy back there for like at least 10 minutes. Um, will you be going for lake trout? The lake trout... Uh, is one of my favorite fish uh, We will try I don't have any experience with them I have no idea how best to take them So We could try you know You know what Let's see if one of The two of them like something the same Uh liver eggs red Okay we're gonna have to try and get these guys with a Different thing I think because I don't think They're gonna go to spin fishing But we could go for grub one thing I did want to try out. Let's do this. Let's switch this out for cork. Let's go for a size 5 hook. And let's try a minnow. Let's try going as... Oh, wrong one. There we go. i got to press 1. How far low can I go with this? Okay, I can only go 140, but... Let's see, where do we have a couple fishes flying around? Let's throw it around him. Let's see if he might like that. Alright, we're a bit far out for that, but here we go. I mean, I will definitely, like I said, try and go for Lake Chat. I just haven't caught one yet. And from what I saw from the reveal trailer today, or the gameplay trailer, they seem to be in quite deep waters. And I just haven't figured out how to get them. I understand that, Alex. Um, it's just that if we ha all talk English in here, it just seems... I don't want to make it seem like a punishment that we deleted those messages. It's just I want to try and keep everybody being able to understand what's going on here. Um, just so that we can all kind of contribute to a discussion that might be going on. And I'm not trying to say that you guys were talking about anything that's bad in the rules. Like, I doubt that. I'm just saying, like, I want to be able to understand what's going on. Just to be sure, and so that everybody else actually has an understanding. Um, I understand, Alex. I understand. No worries. Alright, that was maybe a bit too far out. Let's throw it out here. Let's see. Come on. I really want to get one of these guys. I really do. But I might have to do a little bit more exploring before we're going to get effective at this. I will have a question. Can you only catch fish that you see on the top? No, no, no. You can definitely catch other fish as well. Um, the only reason we're going for the fish that we're seeing at the top right now is because I want to try and get in as many fish as we can. So that, you know, you guys get to see some variety of fish. You guys get to see some variety of me fighting a fish. And I just want to try and show as much adversity as possible in a stream like this. Just so that you guys can actually see the most of everything. And so that we're not just sticking to one thing. So if I see a fish out there, I want to try and catch it. I want to try and show you guys how that looks, how that works. But there's definitely other fish below. And this is one of the only lakes where you can actually see the fish up top. Um, in the fish, like in the area at the first area, um, we're down here by the way, Logan, but if you're like an area like this, like you can't see many fish in the water, like it's very hard to do so. And since we have this opportunity here, I just feel like we should go for it, you know? We respect you and your rules. Thank you, Alex. That's greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Something's got a bite. Actually, what do we have it set at? Yeah, let's try go for 0.6. Actually, no, let's throw it to the salmon here. I feel like we have good chances with him. All right, let's throw that out again. Um, is this game better than Ultimate Fishing Simulator? I actually didn't play Ultimate Fishing Simulator, um, if I'm honest. Uh, the only fishing games I've played 
um, really in depth that are fishing games is Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. I've played a little bit of Planet Fishing, but I never really committed to it just because I felt it was way too steep of a learning curve. And it seemed to be more of a you have to pay something to get somewhere. Uh, and then I think I played a bit of... What is it called? Russian Fishing Simulator 3, 4, something like that. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I played a little... I played a little bit of that, but not too much. Because... That was right around the time I was getting into another game as well. And... I just decided to go for that instead. Uh, I gotta go... I get to go to my high school's football game tonight. Nice, Ben. That's awesome. Congratulations. Um... Wait. So, do you need to buy boats? Or is there, like, docks that cut to other lakes, rivers, with other boats waiting. So at the beginning of the game, you get two boats and you get two jeeps that you can drive around. And if you look on the map, you kind of see these jeep signals. And most of these things, these trailheads, will allow you to call in boats as well. So it's kind of like calling in the boats, if you want to say that. And all of the outposts, you can call in boats there. And most of these trailheads, as long as they have like a pier, you can usually always call in a boat there. From what I have noticed so far. And if we're not catching anything... Okay, we'll, we'll give this guy one more shot. Let's... Let's use this rod here though. Let's use a size 3 crankbait. I really want to get one of these guys. Like, I really, really do. So maybe he'll go for our bait now. Because he's going in the direction. Will he follow it though? That's the thing I'm unsure about. Uh, boats are DLC? No, boats are not DLC. You can buy boats in-game uh, that look different. And you can buy boats uh, just with different looks. But you get two free boats and two free jeep at the beginning of the game when you first start off and then you can buy different skins essentially with the cash that you earn inside of the game if that makes sense um how can you guys get this pre um so i'm a partnered uh, content creator with ew which is why I get early access for the Hunter DLC and uh, the Angler now. we got I got that early with that as well. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can go in their official Discord and go under the Community Content Creator tabs and look at the um, how to become a content creator slash how to apply for content creator roles. And then you can read through all the different specs that you have to... Um, that you have to achieve to get that. So there's just a couple of things that you have to hit and then they'll kind of go through and consider you. It's similar to like an application in that sense. All right, let's look. Oh, this guy seems interested. Oh, could this be our guy? Yes, come on. Oh, we're lucky. He's, oh no, that's a golden trout. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I thought that was a salmon. I was like, yes, come on. Oh, oh what's that over there? Is that another golden trout? Or is that a rainbow trout? I, I should have seen that that was not a freaking salmon. He, he came in way too quick. Like he got, it was like snap, boom, I'm taking that. Um, so not every lake or river is connected. So for most of you need a boat up a river to reach the lake you want to fish. Um, not entirely. So for example, there's, like I said, you're not everything's connected. You're very right with that. So you kind of have to go explore the map with the Jeep or by foot a little bit. But there's also like these little ponds like this. Um... 
You're obviously not gonna go on a boat with a pond like this, but for example... Um, a pond like this, there's a pier here that you can drive around this pond with a boat. Um, and it's free, so you can just get that boat there every time. So if I were to fast travel away from here right now, I could call this boat in uh, at a different lake as well if I wanted to. Okay, dude, thanks. No worries, no worries. I will always gladly answer questions. Uh, I really hope a trophy lodge is added soon. It would be good. I think that'd be interesting. But we've got to skip this part of the playlist, sorry. Oh, there we go. I think this is going to be less dubstepy and just a little bit more chill techno. Man, I really want to get myself... That guy back there looks big as well, I'm not going to lie. You know what, let's go to another position on the boat here. And let's see if we can't quote-unquote snipe him. I'm not using the ideal lure for them, but since that other guy came in so quickly, I feel like this should be possible. Okay. I'm gonna come in like that. Let's throw it ahead of him there. Oh? Seems interest. Oh no, he's not interested. I know we could just go for a spoon and he'd come in almost instantly. Like in like the first two or three trials. But I want to see what this thing here has to offer. And I'm still obviously looking. Oh, there's a small salmon right there. Maybe we can get him. Since we are using a crankbait. Hey, E, welcome back. Good to see you in here. Uh, when I get the game, I might explore a lot with the boat. Go do that, Logan. That's, that's a great way to explore. I just opted in to do it with a with a car, but you can do it just as good with the boat as well in most places, but you will just have to walk a couple of places since not all lakes are going to be connected. Oh, come on, man. I want, I want a freaking salmon. I really do. After we've seen so many around here. Um, try a raffle bait. Okay, we can try that. I've kind of just been going off what the game says. Let's try... Actually, you know what? I'm going to try a spinner bait real quick. We'll try a size 8 hook, uh, which I know is obviously a lot smaller. But maybe we can catch one of the smaller, less experienced... You know? Crankbait equals bass kind. That's true. But bass kind of go for anything. I'm not going to lie. Oh, oh, we caught the wrong one. To be fair, we did catch the golden trout. Oh, he's, he's a jumpy one. He'll stay to the top the entire time, I think. Right, let's turn up this a little bit so he doesn't get away as quickly. Nature with David. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Uh, uh, it does not look like like the hunter. Do you think that? Interesting. What do you think makes it look uh, cartoony, in your opinion, uh, out of curiosity? If you might want to elaborate on that just a little bit. All right, that should be a... Oh, it's a silver. Okay. Not too shabby. We'll take him. Right. I want to get that guy down there. Or any other of the salmons. I just want to catch one. Right, let's, let's throw the slur out in front of him. Let's let it sink just a little bit. And then let's read it in. The menu. The menu is a little different, I'm not gonna lie. But like from the gameplay wise, do you think it looks worse than the hunter? Because I find the actual, like when you're in game, when you're fishing, I feel like the graphics look a lot better here. Like it looks updated, it looks a little bit smoother, it looks a little bit cleaner. And it looks a lot more refined, in my opinion at least. Uh, when it comes out, will it be on Xbox? Levi, no, it will not be on Xbox yet. This is only going to be a PC release for now. However, they are working for a Xbox and PlayStation in the near future. And they will be giving out more info on that in the coming days or coming weeks. Um, and I'm sure if you ask them on Monday when they're doing a stream about the game. Ooh, what do we get? 
Come on, be a salmon. Uh, they'll probably have a little bit of info, but nothing to... Yes! We got one! We got ourselves a salmon. <laughs> we got ourselves a silver. Not the best of best, but... Man, we have got one. We have got ourselves a salmon. Finally, will you tell... <sighs> I am happy right now. I am happy about that right now. If you've been here for the last 30 or 40 minutes, we have been trying hard to get ourselves a salmon. And we finally have one. Yes, sir. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, I can rest a little easier now, knowing that we have one of these. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. We finally got one with a spinner bait. Um, I'm not sure, Mancock. I'm not 100% sure if they are the same. They might be. They might not be. Um, I'm not a... I am not a salmon or fish expert by any means or by any definition. Especially not with salmon. Definitely our expert on those. You know what? We're going to try and take the larger hook spinner bait, I think this was now. And see if that might uh, attract some of the bigger salmon that we saw around here. Let's cut this. And then what did we use? Yeah, we used spin bait. So let's use the size 4 hook. Uh, let's go on here. Oh, I just saw one there, I think. Nice luck. Let's let's glass the ocean here. Oh, there's a big fish. You know what? Let's try for that big fish and see what that is. Let's give that a quick look. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, I couldn't see it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There he is. There's that big boy. It's not the big boy, but it's it is still a big boy. It might look better, but something feels off. Oh, interesting. I mean, to each their own opinion. I do find the menu looks a little... A little off, but I've gotten used to it now at this point. Like, when I first started playing, I was like, hmm, this seems a little bit weird. But it's come to the point now where I'm like, oh, that just looks... Like, it's, it's fine now. But I've been playing this game a lot over the last couple of days. Like I said, I think I'm like 24 hours in on having this game and I only have it since like Monday. I, I have been hooked in here for sure. Um, is there different seasons in this game like fall, spring, winter? I don't think there is. Uh, let's reel that in. Um, if there is, I haven't noticed it. But I think it's just... All the same season. The only thing that cycles around is the day and night cycle. Um, that goes on in the game. But other than that, I don't think there's an actual... There's an actual uh, season change. Cannibal Barbecue, welcome in. Good to see you here. Um, how the FPS on this game so far? Um... I have great FPS, so I have mine limited to 60 FPS just because my monitor is 60 FPS max. Uh, I have not had any frame issues at all. Um, and like my, C my GPU is not like rendering really high. Like I'm throttling at... No, we can actually just check. Um, where is my GPU? Yeah, so my GPU is hovering right around... Where is it here? Let me let this run in it just for a second on the side here. And then I can tell you in a second because it didn't start diagnostics. But this is worth streaming, running multiple monitors. And it is... Yeah, it's using memory. Only about 30% memory. Video and code is probably somewhere at 10%. 3D is high at roughly 90%. Um, nothing on video decoding. Wait. 
and shared GPU memory usage is really low as well. So it's not bad. Like you can definitely crank this up with more FPS. I think if I wanted to, I could probably go above 160, 180 FPS. But for me, it just doesn't make any sense because, well, I only have a 60, uh, 60 FPS uh, monitor here. So cranking that all the way up, it's just, oops, wrong button. Uh, it's just gonna negatively impact when I'm actually streaming as well. Plus, we're playing at 2K right now. Um, I don't know what fish, but that was big. I think you mean the salmon. That was there. That, that fish looked nice. But I think we'll, we'll try and catch one more fish, and then we'll move over to a different spot. Um, uh, what if i5-3570 with GTX 960 playing this game... I'm not sure about the i5, um, don't know enough about it, but I think a 960, if you're playing at 1080p, should be fine playing this game. Obviously look on Steam at the recommended, um, at the recommended specs, but I think you should be fine with a 960 from everything I know about it. Radu, thank you very much for subscribing, that is greatly appreciated. Um... I think you should be fine. I'm not sure about the i5. Uh, I don't have any experience with an i5-3570. But I think that should be okay. Is there walleye? No, there isn't. Um, trolling motors on boats would be nice. It would be very nice. I'm not going to lie. I think that could be a great implementation in the future. Um, but even in other fishing games, I never really used it that much. But I guess that's just kind of my style. Um, a fishing so obviously that's not gonna be everybody some people really enjoy it and I know that it's just not quite me in that sense oh that thing looks nice let's let this lure fall down then let's see if we can't get him falling for it I think we should be fine there um, is this game worth it Eduardo personally I think it's worth it um, that's my perspective, but I think everybody has to make that decision on their own Like if you prefer open-world fishing games if you like exploration having a fun time a little bit more of a relaxed game not action 24 7 Then I think this game is for you But if you're expecting to catch a fish every minute or every time you throw something out Then I don't think this game is gonna necessarily be something for you as there is some waiting there is some times where you're not going to catch a fish for like five or six minutes or sometimes ten minutes like we're doing right now so if you don't have an issue with that if you're a little bit more relaxed want something that you don't have to focus a hundred percent on this is definitely the game for you and i can imagine with this being ew they're going to support this game for years to come this is not going to be like call of duty where it's going to have a one-year lifespan and then something new comes out I think it's going to be similar to Call of the Wild or Classic, where it's going to be supported for like five or six years with DLCs coming out, updates coming out, um, and just general improvements coming out as well. Uh, mine is i5 Gen 6. Um, Gen 6. I, th I think you should be fine. I'm going to be honest. You might not be able to crank graphics up to like 100%. But I think with a Gen 6 i5, you should still be fine with a 960. Obviously, you have to set your expectations kind of to what the, the setup is. Like the setup is a little bit older. So I don't think you're going to be getting something above 1080p, 120 frames. And you might just be lingering at like 100 FPS or like 60 FPS with that kind of thing. Just because this is an open world game with a lot of things to render in as well. That's just kind of what I think. I'm obviously no no tech geek, but from my understanding of gear and my understanding of how that tech performs, I think you should be fine. That's the fishing experience. <laughs> exactly, Logan. What's your GPU? I'm actually not sure. Um, I think I'm on a three, uh, RTX 360. I can actually check that, can't I? Because I know I wanted to get a 3070, but I just never did. 
And yeah, so I'm rocking a 360 at the moment. Because that's the one that I was able to get. Um, Kyle Holmes, I searched the game on Google and saw your live pop up as the first video. Nice. That's awesome to hear. Welcome into the stream as well. I hope you enjoy it. What are you thinking about the game so far? Have you seen some gameplay? Have you seen some footage? Or is this the first time you're seeing actual gameplay of this game? Alright, let's go at 3 speed here. Um, do you know your specs? Yeah, I know my specs. So I know I have... Actually, I'm not sure which CPU I have in here. I think I have an AMD... Oh, snap, what do I have? <laughs> Does it tell me here? I've upgraded this a couple times, but I have 32 gigs of RAM, 3200 megahertz, DDR4. I am running on... What CPU does it... Why does it tell me again? I know it does tell me somewhere. Um, but I'm pretty sure I have an FX... Um, what is it? 8300X or whatever it's called. I, I know it's definitely a Ryzen... Uh, a definitely a Ryzen 7. I believe that's what it's called, right? Ryzen 7... 5,700, 5,600X 5, or something like that, I think, is what the CPU is. Something like that. You should try to catch all the species. That I'm trying, Logan. We're trying. All uh, right, you know what? We're going to move. We're going to move around. Let's, let's go somewhere else. I feel like we spent a lot of time here. Um... Caught all of those. You know what? I want to try and get another golden trout. Let's let's go in there. Let's try it out. Um, can I get uh, 1440p with RX 67 XT? I have no clue. I have never used an AMD uh, GPU. Or I've never also been able to experience an AMD GPU. To be quite frankly honest. Um, so I'm not sure. But I feel like with an RX 670. Isn't that the equivalent to like a GTX. Uh, not GTX. RTX uh, 3060 Ti. If I remember correctly. So I feel like you should be able to do it. I'm not sure with the Ryzen 5 5600X. But I'm pretty sure you should be able to get uh, 1440p out of that. And probably 144 hertz, but maybe just 120. I'm not sure. Again, I'm, I am I don't performance test these games on like how much FPS there is. Uh, I test more of the gameplay and the enjoyment that I have in these games. But I feel like from my understanding and... What I think, ooh, I can do. I feel like you should be okay with that. I don't think you should have many issues. All right, let's downgrade. Let's try it here. Uh, you should hit the high northern part of the map. We'll do that after this. We'll try and catch a yellow perch here because I only ever caught one of them. And then I think we might go ahead up north and try some other things. CJ Ho, welcome back. I'm just here lurking while I eat. Well, bon appetit for you. Uh, definitely going to pick it up. Nice, Cal. That sounds awesome. That is awesome. Glad to hear that. Got some. Oh, what have we got? Oh, it's, it's pulling me out. Oi, 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 oi. No, 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 buddy. Don't go too far. Come on. Come right in. Here we go. Uh, you should catch some pike. We might try that later, Levi. I think in the north we'll have some luck with some pike. We'll just have to go in some areas where there's some... Some more greenage on the area. Nice, Hunter. That sounds awesome. Well, bon appetit to you as well. I forgot. We, we, we searched it up the other day in... Italian, wasn't it? Bon appetito. Or something like that. Oh, this is a rainbow trout. 90% certain. Or is it the... 
mountain white fish, whatever it's called. Let's look. What have we got ourselves here? Oh, wait, no, we have a golden trout. Not too shabby. I, I want to catch myself a, a golden a golden perch, though. Uh, north might have white fish like trout pike. Yeah, I know the north definitely has pike. And I know that it should have the white fish. Um, at least I think that's where I caught it. Oh, I got another strike. This is why I love, like, some of these smaller lakes. Like, you get a lot more action here occasionally. Uh, obviously, you don't catch quite as big fish here. And, okay, that looks to be like another golden trout. Or? Uh, I'm not 100% sure right now. Yeah, that should be another golden trout. But let's look. Um, have you done much bass fishing yet? If... So how has it been and what's been the most enjoyable experience in this game so far? I've done a little bit of bass fishing. I haven't actually targeted them specifically, but I have definitely caught... Yes, sir. We've got ourselves a diamond. Yeah, that's nice. I think that's my... No, actually, no, it's not my biggest one yet. I have caught a bigger diamond golden shot, but hey, I'll take him. I will take that for sure. Um, there was it. So I haven't done a lot of specific bass fishing, um, as just in that. I've caught them occasionally, and I, I quite like them. Uh, they give a unique fight to them. They definitely do feel unique. They, they have a different experience, and they jump a lot more out the water. They're a little bit more hectic on some things. But with the gear that I have used on them, I have used some more overpowered gear for them. So it was a little bit easier to fight them. But if you stick with the rams of what you should be able to catch for bass, I think you'll have a lot of fun. Um, but my overall favorite part that I've noticed so far is I really enjoy spin fishing and just going around having a good time. And the other day I was, like I already said, I was going with a German YouTuber known as Trophy Hunters slash Shifty. And me and him were just talking on Discord, standing next to each other and fishing. And we had so much fun together. Just talking, just enjoying the game. It's just been great fun doing stuff like that. And that's, I think, the biggest selling point of this game is the multiplayer. Playing together with friends, having fun like that, or just meeting new people. Like, I've met other people on here as well, and we just kind of stood next to each other. We couldn't talk because we didn't call each other on Discord. But... We just had fun standing next to each other. When somebody caught something and the other person saw it, we jumped up next to each other. And it's just a great community feeling on here. Um, besides that, what I've enjoyed is just going around these little lakes and exploring what you can catch in a small lake like this. Like you saw, we got a diamond golden trout out of this. And you would never go to this lake expecting to find a diamond suddenly. But there are these little hidden gems all around the map that will occasionally give you something awesome and something big that you just didn't expect. Uh, look at you flexing with different languages <laughs> with me over here struggling with English. <laughs> hey, I, I was grown up in, in a bilingual language, but other than that, I am not great with languages. Like, not at all. Like, I know a little bit of Spanish. I know a tiny bit of Korean. Um, and that's about it, to be fair. I don't think I know more languages than that. And that should be... Ooh, silver. I thought that would be gold by that size. Um, where was I? Alfertic, welcome in as well. I know I answered your question, but I don't think I said hi to you yet. Amazing Canadian, welcome into you as well. Uh, how many diamonds have you caught? Um, I'm not sure to be fair. I haven't really been counting and there isn't really like a, a stat sheet. But the only diamonds I have gotten so far are golden trout. I haven't gotten any other diamonds beside that. Oh, there's a golden perch right there. Where was he? Somewhere around there. Let's look. Can we maybe lure him in with this? We might need to change the bait to be fair. Um, since they are quite a bit smaller. But I feel like this game isn't all about just, let's get a diamond, let's get a diamond. This game is more about the experience and going for it. 
Like, obviously, yes, you want to try and get yourself a diamond of every fish to see how big they get. But, like, I don't think that's the biggest part of this game. Oh, look, we're getting a lot of golden shots. Okay, let's, let's switch it up here. Let's... What else do we have that's not too big? You know what, let's try a spoon bait, even though I know that this is also going to attract a lot of... A lot of yellow perch. Alright, let's throw that out there. Set it onto... Is it possible to place... A, uh, possible to pin places you fish? What do you mean, pin, Logan, exactly? Do you mean, like, put a marker on it? Uh, is that what you mean? <laughs> uh, bilingual, is that some sort of pasta? No, bilingual just means, like, that you grew up learning two languages or that you know how to speak two languages fluently. For me, that being German and English. Um, and, like, a little bit of Spanish. Like, I, I know how to understand Spanish pretty well, at least when it's spoken to me. Like, I can kind of guess what people are saying based off context that I can pull out of a lot of a... Out of a conversation. Like, for example, like, my girlfriend, she's... She's Latin American, so obviously she speaks a lot of Spanish. And so I've picked up some of that again, but... Other than that... I really just mainly, um, I, I, I'm not good with putting up sentences. Like, I'll understand what they're saying, but as soon as it comes to me speaking that language, I suck. Like, I'm just like, nope. No, 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 no. I'll pass. <laughs> um, oh yeah, when I get the game, I just want to explore and also catch fish. And you can do both together. Uh, am I Canadian? No, I am German. Uh, I'm surprised. That's the first time somebody asked me if I was Canadian, actually. <laughs> I'll see that as a good thing. At least he didn't think I was German with a German accent. That's, that's always nice to hear. Um, like, add a marker? Yeah, you can add markers. Um, so if you go around here, I could just be like, Ooh, set waypoint right there, and I'll go there. And if I exit the game completely and I come back in the next day, I will not only respawn where I stopped, but my markers are still going to be where they left them the day before. If that makes any sense. Ah, I got you. So what do you call it when you struggle with one language? I have no idea. I have no idea what you would call that. Alright, this is going to be last fish. After this, I think we're going to move over. And that's not going to be another yellow perch, is it? Uh, golden trout, it is. Okay. I was asked if I was Scottish a few weeks ago. <laughs> nice. Alright, very quickly, before we fast travel, I want to quickly see what this cave is all about. Because I hadn't actually seen this. Ooh, look at that. We found ourselves a bone in here. Interesting. I know there's, like, things in here where you have to, like, find things for the warden. And I guess that bone right there was one of them. Not too shabby. Okay. I know I said we're going to leave, but I wanted to try one last thing. I wanted to see how this type of fishing was going to do right over here. You live up in northern Canada? Nice, Logan. That's awesome. Do you got to do some fishing there? Because obviously I feel like in the winter fishing there, unless you're counting ice fishing, uh, does seem a tad bit uh, difficult because I feel like it's very cold in Canada knowing where I live in the US when I study uh, I can just imagine how ponds and lakes look there oh, oh, oh. something wants to bite you guys heard that little ding 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 oh oh yes what do we have what have we got ourselves here let's look can this be something other than a golden trout? Could this be a yellow perch? Let's look. What was the other fish that's around here? White heart fish? Ooh. Rainbow trout. Interesting. Alright, let's try one more lure. Sorry, I, I know I say I keep one to go, but I keep getting hooked on here. Let's try hot dog. Let's, let's throw a hot dog in the wash water. Oli, welcome. Hello, I have a question. If you could answer it, please. Uh, are there female characters you can play as? Yes, you can. 
there is a there is a female character that you can choose at the beginning of the game and you can also change it later on if you go to the shop or Sophia's tackle shop you can customize her character and change between male and female and I believe there are six um, six options um, for ethnicities um, to make your color look as closely as as close to you as possible as you can. I got lucky. My guy actually has almost exactly the haircut I'm rocking IRL. Um, but other than that, if you want a different hairstyle, there's currently only one option. I believe there's going to be more coming out in the future. But for now, you can kind of get yourself a variety of the different hats um, and bucket hats if you want to make the character look as close to you as possible. Uh, yes, the fishing is lovely. I am indigenous person of Canada. And the fishing and hunting is nice. Nice! That's awesome. Out of curiosity, what type of fish do you get up there in that region? Just like, you know... If you give me like the top five... That you would say that Canada is known for. And I just noticed I didn't change the... The thingy height. So let's change that. Let's throw it in there again. Uh, that's great. Thank you for answering. No worries. Uh, how many boats are there? Um, damn, you're asking a good question. I think there's like 20 boats, 26, 24, something like that in terms of different looking boats. We can go check that in a second. We'll go back and we'll try and buy some other things. Uh, is Arctic Char? Oh, nice. That sounds awesome. Dragos, welcome in. Good to see you in here. Um... In the summer, I go netting in the ocean for arctic char, but next week my community is having a 6,000 6, yeah, 6, pike tournament, and I'm excited for that. Ooh, that sounds fun. Uh, are you going to be participating in that log run? And if you are, best of luck to you there. Amazing Canadian bass, perch, muskie, pike. Ooh, nice. That, that all sounds like fun. I'd really love to go pike fishing IRL. Um, I think that'd be great, but obviously with it in Germany being here, very strict rules. Uh, I just don't see myself doing that anytime soon. Cheers, B. I hope I said that correct. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you for joining us. And let's look. There is... So you have the two boats you get at the beginning. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 16 types of different boats that you can get. They all are the same model, but you can get different looks on there. And then I believe, yeah, you'll get 14 different cars. And I really like this one. I want to get this one at some point. I feel like that looks really cool. But I also like the one that you get straight off at the beginning. Now, what did I want to get? Um, what did I want to get? I think I forgot. Oh yeah, I wanted to try and see if we can get ourselves one bigger. Let's get ourselves a medium hook. Um, you know, let's get ourselves a size six. One of these. Buy that. Um. And then here, let me really show what I mean. So yeah, look, you can become male or female here. And then change your hairstyle that way. Oh, please tell me I didn't actually... Oh, wait, it did. Um, okay, cool, there we go. Got that. And now we have to go in our storage very quickly. And... There we go. Take that one with us. Perfect. And then we should have some soft plastic with us. Yeah, we've got... Oh, that's not what I want to do. We've got ourselves... Okay, we might got to get something bigger. Let's actually get rid of some... Some things we don't need. I don't think we're going to need this float. I doubt we're going to need that float. Let's... Uh, we're probably going to need those. Let's get rid of the size 8 hook. And then let's get rid of the stuff we don't need here. 
Like all the... Right, we don't need both crankbaits. Let's get rid of that one. Um, we're not going to need the 20kg one, I think. I don't think we're also going to need the... Uh, we're not using the high tier stuff anyway. Oh, we can't get rid of that right now. Okay, that should be fine for us. So let's oh, take that with us. And then let's go ahead and buy another soft plastic as well. Equipment, soft plastic, because there should be grub here. There we go. That's one we want to get. We probably want to get a smaller worm one as well. And then we probably want to get ourselves a medium. Actually, you know, let's get a no, let's get a medium one of these as well. Perfect. Okay. And then let's head up north. Let's go. Yeah, why don't we go here? Or should we go up in the high? No, no, we'll go here. I haven't gone here yet to actually go fish. Uh, can you and a friend go on one boat? Yeah, you can take up to three friends with you onto one boat, if you so please. Uh, you know what? Let's go bridge fishing. Let's go see what we have lurking up here in this area. I've got no idea. So we're going to go in blindly for this one. Oh. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm getting a gaming PC soon. Nice, Koa. That's going to be awesome. That is definitely going to be very, very awesome. Yes, I am. Thank you. Perfect, Logan. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, catfish and sturgeon. All your trout species. Bluegill rock bass. And a fish sheep head. Sunfish bass. Bluegill rock bass. Sunfish sheep head. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, when you are fishing early in the morning, I recommend a top waterer. Okay. I mean, we're at night, like short to the evening. But you know what? I will take that tip and we can try and get ourselves a top water. I should have one. There we go. We have a frog. Let's throw the frog in the water. Let's see what he does. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, please do be sure to go ahead and like the stream as it does help out more than you can imagine. It does so much in YouTube's algorithm. Like, it is crazy. It is probably one of the biggest factors in pushing a stream or a video in general to become more popular or become more available to more people. So it definitely helps out a freaking ton. Let me tell you. Alright, let's look how this is gonna go. Maybe we should go with speed 3. I feel like we threw this one out quite far. One thing I would like to be added in the future is that if we do the, like, the reeling back like this, I wish we could see, or like, determine how far we want to throw. With maybe like a meter, like how far we throw it back in weight. Um, so that we can kind of decide if you want to throw maybe 15 meters or 30 meters or the full like 35 meters. Because right now it's kind of like you only have the option between the tossing it forward and the like full send. Also, should we make it full daytime again? Like by quitting the game real quick and then coming back? Or should we continue with like going at this at night? Uh, do you get a boat for free at the start? Yes, Levi. You get two boats for free and two trucks for free at the start of the game. Uh, that you are free to use. So you get two of those uh, straight away. Let's try going off in the other direction. So what I mean is like currently you can either throw the rod out like this far and get like roughly 10 to 12 meters depending on the whoops depending on the rod or you can send it like full send and get okay now we only got 20 meters with this rod but kind of do it like that. Uh, you should hit one of the lakes north Logan we are currently <laughs> probably as far actually not you can go up here north but do you mean going like to these areas? Uh, only thing is I kind of know that there's very similar to fish to what we've been catching so far. So I kind of wanted to go ahead and try out and see what we could maybe get here. Unless you want to go on an exploration mission and try and go up that lake in the middle. 
Um, I'm gonna go and have a good stream. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for saying hi, and I hope you have a, a good rest of your evening. Um, oh, we got something. We got something. Here we go. What have we got ourselves? You think we got ourselves a new fish species? Oh man, he is... He is dragging us out. Alright, let's... Let's turn that up real quick. Can't have him going all the way out here. I thought he was gonna come in quick. But, oh no, he's not. He wants a fight. I think this is a new fish. I never had one, like, swim away that quickly. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, let's not let him go away at all. And let's force him in. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe we give him 95%, not 100%. He wants to swim, let me tell you. He does not want to be held captive. Come on. Yeah, he's getting tired. He's not putting as much force to going out anymore. I think he realized he's going to lose this fight at some point. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, yeah. Um try a stop and go with the frog or like a twitch we might try that in a little bit that's a good call i can show you guys how to do the stop and go fishing as there is quite a good way of getting it constantly uh like i don't know how to explain it but like the fish have different bite periods throughout the day i get that i understand what you mean with it and it does make sense like obviously at night you want to try and maybe use something a little bit more bright and noticeable underwater versus during the day you probably want to use something a little bit more flashy where if the sunlight hits it it gets caught in the fish's eye and it sees it and it's like oh i want to go there i want to see what that is now obviously considering that it's a predator and it will try and fish for something it sees oh i see what it is it's a pike we got ourselves a pike on the end of the line here considering he's 30 meters out that guy actually didn't look too bad so this might actually be quite a decent pike. Might even be a gold. And the golds look very nice. I haven't seen anybody post a diamond yet of these. So I don't know how big they can actually get. But I know that the golds already look really, really nice. Let's go. The top water pulling a big one. Yes, sir. Let's go, Logan. Come on. What's this going to be? Uh, stream quality is really poor only for me or everyone else as well. Ovi, are you on the right graphic settings? Um, or not graphic settings, on the right um, quality settings over on YouTube. Because YouTube on streams does occasionally force you to go on 340p or like 140p. So if I were you, I would go ahead and check that. To make sure that you're watching it at the right one or maybe try just reloading the stream oh i got i can't see currently who's subscribed i have still the gpu monitoring thing uh above but thank you for whoever just subscribed that is greatly greatly appreciated i will give you a shout out with your name in just a second i currently just can't see your name and Actually, we could try something real quick. Oh, is he doing this? Mauro, thank you for subscribing. Thank you very, very much. That is greatly appreciated. Diamond, maybe, Levi. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It is a pike for sure, Levi. We just saw that guy jump out the water. Uh, what resolution do you have in the game? I currently am playing at 2K and streaming at 1080p, so downscaling it. Huh. Interesting, Ovi. Uh, try... Ooh. Try reloading the stream on your end. Uh, and see if it might get better that way. Oh, 
I don't worry about the drag setting at the bottom. There's currently a little bug that I've noticed that it will occasionally just randomly show up 100 even though it isn't actually 100. Like, we're currently at 95, but it will just occasionally jump up to saying it's 100. That is just a visual bug, however. That is not actually physically saying that you're dragging at 100. And you just gotta give it a quick second to readjust. You might have a diamond, it's fighting hard. Who knows, we might have a diamond, we might not. We'll see. But man, this guy's pulling. I think he's bigger than what we have our line set for again. This is maybe one of the issues that we have with, you know, trying to pull in... Like trying to use the early to mid tier loot or, or rods just because it will make the fights a lot more difficult. But I thought it would be more fun for stream if we try and use some of the earlier tier stuff because obviously that's what you guys are going to be starting with. You're not going to all instantly go out and buy the $2,000, $3,000 rods. Um, and I think this is just more fun overall, you know, having to fight with the fish a little bit. Having to make him struggle, all that kind of thing. So, yeah, let's tire this guy out more and more. I thought earlier we'd have him already, but he's fighting. He's got some fight in him. But to be fair, if it is a pike, then he is a predatorial fish. And they do have a lot of power in them. At least from what I know, from watching, like... Um... Oh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that did river monsters on his fishing show. Like, obviously he goes after some crazy huge fish. But, like, I know he sometimes spends, like, two, three hours fighting for one single fish. And most of the time, those are predators. So, and he always says, like, they have a lot of power and, like, are very streamlined bodies with a high percentage of, of muscle there. Oh, let's not let the line rip. I want to know what this is. Oh, come on. Come in here. Uh, my biggest pike, personally, is like in the 30s. Uh, I assume that's Pound. Jeremy Wade. Yes, that is the name. Thank you, Mac. Mang. Yeah, Mang. Kek. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Jeremy Wade. He is... I love that show, I'm not gonna lie. I assume not everything of it is real and some of it is like probably staged. But like I still think it's a it's a lot of fun to watch. And you can definitely learn a couple of things that I I found at least very interesting. 30 inches. Ooh, that is big. That's like what? Um Times 2.5, 60, 75, that's like 75 centimeters, is it? I think. I think so. Bryce, thank you for subscribing. That is greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoy the content. And Mark, thank you for subscribing as well. Thank you very, very, very much. That is greatly appreciated from both of you guys. I hope we get an Amazonas River DLC. That would be awesome. I would love to see that. I would also love to see... I know this is just... We're still playing early access to the actual game. But a fish I want to see at some point in the future is uh, both an Arapaima and I really want to see a Mekong catfish because I know they look really ugly, but they're just awesome fish to like fish for in games. I just... I've always enjoyed fishing them in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And I forget what the other fishing game is called, but there's another one that's like a couple years old now, but they had them as well. And I always, those were probably the two favorite fishes to fish for in both of those games. Monk check? Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for clearing that up. I hope I can pronounce it correctly next time. Kenan, welcome, welcome. Do you know what is the price of the game? The game is, let me make sure, I'm pretty sure it's $29.99 um, US or Euros. 
But I'm gonna very quickly go check in the email that we were sent. Just so that I don't tell you guys any BS. Um, where is it? Gotta be a little bit careful while I look, look this up in the background because I don't want to lose this fight. Okay, let's let's keep it slow for a second. Ah, it won't let me open it here. Um, but I do believe it is going to be twenty nine ninety nine, if my memory serves me right. I. Okay, it's not in there. Let's look if it's in here. Yes, here we go. This should be it. I think it's in this document. Um, red tail catfish would be nice as well. Okay, let's look. Where is it going to be saying the price? Yeah, so it's twenty nine ninety nine in both euros and dollars. So that is going to be what you can expect for the price of this. Um, Ivaline, I hope I said that correctly. Dev say this will be, uh, says will be sim, but I see us an arcade game. Um, I think it's a bit of both. I don't think it's a full arcade game because it's too, it has too much of a steep learning curve to be an arcade game. And there's like, a lot of things you have to learn in this game to understand like there's definitely I definitely spent I think the first six or five or six hours trying to learn this game and really trying to get into it figuring out what works figuring out what doesn't work and even now I still have things where I don't know just quite how they work or what works best and I haven't even managed to catch all the games and I've been playing for like 24 25 hours at this point so I don't think it's quite an arcade game, but it's definitely not as grindy of a game as um, Fishing Planet. It's it's definitely harder. It's an in-between between Fishing Sim World Pro Tour and Fishing Planet. That's kind of where I would place it right now. Um, I would love to see Northern Saltwater. Could be interesting. Could definitely be very interesting as well. Uh, you have Trickling Giant on the line. I, I seem to have some kind of huge thing up the line. Like, it's definitely got to be weighing more than 5 kilograms. Or, no, 6 kilograms. Because I think the line we have equipped is a 6 kilogram line. And I think I have to upgrade my reel in a second. Because <laughs> this thing's only weighted for 1.5 kilograms. And I'm still using it. And I think that's what's costing us right now. It's it's definitely not helping us. Let's, let's put it that way. definitely not making this any easier and sorry if I'm missing out on some things that you guys are saying I'm trying to focus on trying to catch this thing in right now and I lost where I was uh, when I was looking up the price just now um, so if I don't answer a question or something you want me to read uh, resend it in like four or five minutes again um, and some real carp fishing would be nice. Yeah, there are currently, I don't think, any carp in here as far as I understand. But carp fishing would be nice for sure. That definitely would be a fun thing to do. Um, it's good price for this game. Thank you so much. No worries. No worries. If you have any other questions that I can answer or that I know how to answer, just let them know. Let, let me know. And I will try and do my best to give you guys that answer as best I can. Oh my, this fish. I hope so. I've never had to fight a fish this long. At least one where I was making progress on getting him in. I had a fish that took me out to 80 meters and then I lost him. Um, but that was way at the beginning when I accidentally bought myself like a... A size 2 bait and... It just flew out and like ran away and I was using like the beginner rod, beginner reel, beginner line and there was just no way I was getting that thing in. Eduardo, thank you very much for, uh, for subscribing. That is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoy the content. 
Um, a 30 inch pike is like 8 pounds, which is like a high end of average pike. Uh, can get very large 20 plus, aren't overly uncommon. Good to know. Welcome in as well, Bradley. Nice to have you here. Alright, let's... Come on. I'm, I'm pulling him in and he's still going out. Damn. How long have we been fighting this dude? This is insane. This is crazy. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Chai Psulmiano? Did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, is this... It's the best fishing... It's the best simulator with fishing? Like, better than Fishing Planet? Fisher Online Russian Fishing 4? I don't know if it's a better simulator than Fishing Planet because I never finished that or like played far enough in that game to actually even get to like mid tier uh, fishing rods and reels because I just thought that was way too grindy and like it almost forced you to pay money to get something else. Um, I can't really say that. I feel like if you were to ask somebody that, I would ask uh, BZ Hub. Because I know he plays those games a lot. But I know it's definitely, from my understanding, I feel like it's a better simulation than Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. I think it's it's got more of a challenge to it than that game. Um, and it has a more steep learning curve. And I feel like it has just better graphics and an overall better yeah, simulation in that sense, if you want to call it that. Um, do fish tire here? Yes, they do. They they will tire out, and depending on how big the fish is, um, and what level the fish is, that will depend on how quickly they can tire, and obviously how good your your gear is. Like as you can see here, I'm currently fighting with this fish, but I also have low mid tier gear right now, which probably wasn't the best idea. Uh, what's my reels max drag? It's 1.5 kilograms. <laughs> like I said, I'm currently using the beginner reel. Because uh, I was trying to make this stream a little bit interesting. But this is currently really biting me in the bum. Because uh, we can't get the spike in. <laughs> oh, snap. At least he's not getting past 42 meters at this point. Uh, and why does that say that? He obviously goes to 42. Uh, should we go for the risky play, guys? What do you think? Should we try and go for the risky play, or should we try and just keep at it how we are at the moment? Because I almost want to go for the risky play and just put the drag all the way up to 100 and slowly force the fish to come in. But obviously we might run into the issue where it is going to come very close to uh, breaking the line. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you want me to do it, and give me a thumbs down if you don't want me to do that. I'm going to wait for some feedback before I do it. Just so that we have an overall consensus. Uh, can you switch the metric system over to Imperial? Yes, you can. Uh, I just live by the metric system, so that's why I use it. But you can... There is an option in the game somewhere to change it over to Imperial. Uh, can you walk the bank or close the distance? No, I can't. So I can't move around right now. Uh, I am kind of uh, frozen in my spot right now where I am. Um, I'm playing both Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4. RF better for me when we talked about gameplay. I preferred that game as well. I, I, I didn't play it much like I said because when that game came out um, one another game that I was playing came out as well um, and I kind of got sidetracked so I never really got far in that game but I do know that a lot of people enjoy that game. Um, and I, I just really never came back to it, to be quite honest. The average pike to catch uh, where I am is in is 114 centimeters. That's that's pretty big. All right, you know what? We might lose this fish doing this. So if we do, you guys gave me two thumbs up. So we're we're going for that. I'll I'll take that as a bargain. All right, in three, two, one. 
All right, so this fish can now no longer swim out. So we have about 40 meters to catch up. Ooh, that was close. Oh, those are those close calls that we're going to have. But we are going to have to pump the fish because otherwise we can't turn the reel. Because the reel's not strong enough. Okay, I'm always going to wait for it to go back down. And we're going to take this slowly but surely. This is such a high risky play to do. I do not like this. <laughs> I will have to ignore chat until we get this fish in or until the line breaks. Because I cannot look away. Otherwise, this line is definitely going to snap. Alright, okay. We one fourth of the way there. Oh. Come on. Yes. We are three eighths of the way there. Oh boy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Whoa. No, 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 no. Yes, go back down. Go back down. Calm down, fishy. Calm down. Okay, we're making good, Levi. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Please don't break off. Please don't break off. Uh, come on. Yes. Get below fit. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was very close. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that was even closer. Oh, snap. I'm going to cuss on stream because of this. <laughs> this better be worth it. Oh, come on. By the way, I'm sorry it's nighttime again. We'll, we'll make it daytime in a second. I'll restart the game in just a sec. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Oh, the last 25% of this journey. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Come on. Alright, okay. I think two more pumps and he's gonna be in. Alright, if this doesn't snap... Oh, do you see that thing? Oh my god! That's a big boy. Yes! What is he? He's a silver! Are you kidding me? He's a silver! Oh! Oh, buddy! Oh, buddy! That's insane! Golly! <laughs> Jesus! Nice catch, thank you very much. Uh, but can't wait to see the monster. Let's go. He's not a monster, but you know, he put up a big struggle. I'll give him that much. That's insane. That is freaking crazy. Ain't no way. Silver, imagine what a diamond is. A diamond's gonna be insane. Oh, buddy. All right, let's, rest let's quickly restart the game and then we'll go up to a higher line and then... Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy, y'all. Nice catch, dude. Holy, that was a crazy catch. <laughs> it was. It was crazy. Well, thank you. No kidding. That's because your setup is potato. <laughs> It really is. We're upgrading, guys. We're upgrading now. Oh, man, the amount of times I was scared that line was going to break. Insane. Freaking insane. Whew. By the way, thank you guys for all coming out here, man. This is crazy. I think this has been one of the biggest streams we have ever done. And that includes a great one stream. So you guys don't even know how much that means to me. That is... Like, a huge thank you from all of you 
for deciding to come out and watching the stream, showing all the support, coming in here, liking the stream, subscribing today, giving me tips, giving me comments, powering me up, cheering me on for all the fish we're catching. This is crazy. This is really crazy, man. You guys are incredible. Like, this is why I love this community so much. You all are supportive. You all are like just amazing. Like, I'm lost for words. 57 people in here right now. Y'all are crazy. That's awesome. I am so happy about that. And everybody coming in here. Okie dokie. Welcome in as well to the stream. Good to see you. Oh, I forgot to press the button. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, hi, Munchak. Thank you very much for stopping by. Have an awesome rest of your evening. And I hope to catch you at some point in the future. Alright, let's steal the best one here. Actually, no, let's just use this rig. Let's go. You know what? Let's. Go here. Okay, cool. Let's, no, this one. Let's use this. B44. A little fluke. And then let's use... You know what? We can, yeah, actually, no. We'll stick with this. We'll use that. And then let's use the frog again. And then let's go for this. Um, I would love tournaments in this game. Yeah, Patty. That would definitely be a very cool addition for sure. And yeah, as you guys saw, look, we spawned right back where we were when we just exited the game before. So this is going to be similar to Way of the Hunter 2, where if you leave the game, your waypoints are going to stay the same, and you're going to be in the same place as well. Not quite sure who just subscribed, but thank you very, very much. Um, with that, I recommend the top board, right? We'll try, we'll try. You've definitely earned yourself a sub, man. I love how you interact with your chat and really make it a group thing versus you a thing. Amazing work, man. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Aphrodic. I hope I pronounced your name right as well. That means the absolute world to me. Thank you very much. Manchek, thank you as well for agreeing with him. I mean, like I said, these streams, it's not just me, you know? I want to try and show you guys this game. I want to have you guys part of this. And I'm looking forward to when this game releases next Wednesday where you guys can jump in you might find me on a server you jump straight next to me and we can celebrate what you catch what I catch together and you can see if you can maybe pull out a bigger fish than me like that's what this game is all about you know like that is just what I am so hyped about to see at some point and I hope you guys will be there for that like I really do uh, thanks for the invitation. I don't understand what you're talking about, but the fishermen can see the fishermen from afar. Nice. That's awesome. Um, I'm not quite sure how I confused you, but if I can clarify anything, do just let me know and I will try my best to uh, clarify what I was, whatever I was saying. Gary, welcome in. How are you doing? you watch my videos thank you very much that is a greatly appreciated and thanks for coming to the stream it's awesome to see people who don't usually come in streams who watch the videos come by it's just an awesome little thing an awesome thing to see well, yeah, let's let's try this bait again this so far has been my all-time all-time favorite one to use that's me with chubs. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It didn't show me your name, so I apologize. Also, Aphrodic, thank you very much for subscribing. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. You see that at the end of my rod, that fish that's just there? Oh, look at that. He's going to my bait. Yes. Yes. Go all the way to the bait. That is a big one. Oh, yes, sir. Come on. I know you want to bite. I know you want to bite. Yes, that's another big one. Oh, look at that. This one's so much easier. We upgrade to the best reel. And we got ourselves a Simba Remo Trout. I thought that was going to be bigger. Oh, baby. 
Yes, sir. Right, let's look. Can I see another fish somewhere in the water? Let's look. All right, okay. Man, check. This one's uh, you there. Thank you very much. Got the alert coming in there. Now, I don't know why they're not showing up on stream. Uh, let me make sure that they are actually showing. There we go. Now they should show up. I don't know why that wasn't just working. Josh, welcome, welcome. How are you? Good to see you here. Um, blows my mind how people are already bashing this. You mean bashing in a negative way? I feel like we're, yeah, today, I haven't heard many negative comments today on the stream, I'm not gonna lie. So far, people are really seem to be enjoying it and enjoying what they're seeing. Like, obviously, we talk about some of the things that seem to be still in need of some work on, but, like, we have not had a single crash or, like, really any bug happening to us this entire stream. And we have been going at it, for sure. Like... We've been using the low tier loot, we've used some of the high tier loot, and now we're kind of sitting here in a mix between high tier and low tier loot. Um, keep up the great work. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. Got a slow time now. Just sit in my patrol call and relax. Uh, sounds like fun. Well, I hope you can catch a little breather in between work. Oh, what was that? Okie dokie subscribed. Thank you very much. That is greatly appreciated. Um, it was interesting how to how to see that uh, interesting to see how the fish swim in the in the water. It is. Uh, and I like it. There's one other lake where you can really see it very well. Um, and I would go there, but like we've caught so many golden trout today that I feel like we should just switch it up and try and go for some other things not just uh, golden trouts. Uh, Manchek, you gotta go, dude. It's 2.15 a.m. here, so see you and happy fishing. Thank you very much for stopping by and saying hi, and I hope to catch you in another stream in the future. We'll be back again tomorrow, and yeah, thank you for stopping by. Love to see while I get at it. Yeah, that would definitely be very, very cool for sure. Uh, I've heard a couple people mention that so far. And I'd definitely be down for that, for sure. But it was interesting to see how... Oh, just read that. With seeing the fish swim in the water. Yeah, people on EW's trailer in comments is filled with people that are bashing on it. Oh, no. Man, that just sucks. They should go watch people stream. Like, I know a bunch of people are streaming it today. Like, all the partnered and affiliate creators are all streaming it. I know Jaxi just went live as well. Like, they should go watch some of the gameplay because it is actually a lot of fun. I have been playing this game non-stop for the last week. And I've been enjoying it. Uh, Flex, welcome in your greetings. Everything is fine except that there is no carp to fish for. That is true. I've heard a couple people mention that already today. Um, but remember, this is a game that is just coming out first time. There is going to be stuff added in the future. Like, just look at Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild when it came... Oh, the, the Hunter Call of the Wild, I think I should say, just to clarify. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, when that came out, it only had... What was it? Like, 16 different animals to hunt. And nowadays, five years later, we're at over 50 species that you can hunt in that game. So do expect things to come in the future. Expect there to be updates. Expect there to be new maps with new fish. Expect there to be new rods, new boats, new trucks. Um, new clothing articles, new missions, all that good stuff. This is definitely not going to be the only thing that comes out in this game. There's definitely going to be more things coming out. And more things to come in the future. And what animals or what fish can you hunt? Let me show you real quick. So we have the largemouth bass. Uh, largemouth bass. We have the smallmouth bass. We have the bluegill. We have the channel catfish. We have the yellow perch. We have the northern pike. We have the cockney salmon. We have the sauger. We have the golden trout. We have the got the lake trout. 
We've got ourselves the rainbow trout. And lastly, we have got the mountain whitefish. Those are all the different fish that we have right now. And like I said, I do expect there to be more in the future. Um, once more updates and all of that good stuff come out. But yeah, let's try and head over here now. Try this part of the lake out. And see if we can't catch something amazing over here as well. Uh, wish I had a PC so I could play. Yeah, Levi. Would be nice. But hopefully console is not going to be too far out. And uh, hopefully you are going to be able to get that on there rather soon as well. Without having to wait too, too long. But damn, well, we've almost been at two and a half hours of streaming. That's crazy. Time just flew by. Like it's, ooh, there we go. Alright, let's look. What do we have in here? Alright, it's nothing big. I can tell you that much. Unless this reel is just the thing that's making this so easy. But let's have a look. What have we caught? Oh, largemouth bass. Oh, look. There we go. We've got ourselves a juvenile. So this is basically the equivalent to the hunter as being none. Like no trophy in that sense. But yeah, caught that pretty quickly. Obviously, that fish is going to come in very easily with the current loot that we're using. Uh, loot, the current rod that we're using here. But yeah, let's try and catch maybe like one more big thing here. Like I'd really love to go back and hunt some more salmon, but I think we'll do that tomorrow. I think we'll, we'll come back tomorrow. Oh, there we go. What do we have? Oh, that seems to be... What is that? A smallmouth bass? Yeah, that's not going to be anything big either. Yeah, smallmouth bass bronze. So yeah, this up here seems to be bass heaven so far. Let's try casting out that direction. And we just have OP loot for them right now, so that's why they're coming in so quick. But yeah, let's go reel this in. Let's look if we can get something. At least maybe a gold or, or a big silver. Like, that'd be very nice for sure. Let's see if we can't get nothing. Oh, there we go. What is that? Uh, that's probably going to be another smallmouth bass by the looks of things. Four? Oh, it's a largemouth bass of silver. He's actually not too bad. Like, you can see the difference between them, can't you? Like, in the terms of the size that they start getting. Now, I wish we could have gotten ourselves maybe, like, a, a bronze or something. So that we could, like, really compare it. But obviously, with the tier of loot that we're using right now, this is... Almost, I want to say, too easy. Oh, look, there's a nice fish back there. Let's look. He might try and go for our, our reel right here. Uh, we might need to go up and increase the size of the hook the next time we come here to try and maybe get something bigger. Just maybe, you know. I almost prefer though when doing stuff like this, even though you know that pike that we just had was like a very long fight. I feel like that was, I had more enjoyment doing that like that than like going for the absolute highest tier gear or reel. Just because there's more fight in it. And since we're not going for like the big heavy 20 kilogram, 30 kilogram fish since I don't know where they are. Um, oh look, there's something approaching and we'll basically instant get that fish. If he bites. Oh no, we didn't get him. We pulled out the, the lure too quick. But well, I feel like once we get to those tier fish... Like, that's really going to be when we'll need this high tier go high tier loot uh, and high tier ge uh, reels, high tier rods, high tier lines, and all of that good stuff. Alright, let me move down a little bit. Um, are you able to turn the strike notification? I'm not sure, actually. Let's look. Um, Keyboard and mouse. It's not under here. Or does this camera shake? Um, let's 
Look, we might be able to do it. No. Let's look if we can change it here. Um, I don't think there is currently an option to do that. At least I don't see one that would be here. There might be, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there is a way to turn that off in just quite yet. Um, that's how I fish in real life. Uh, lots of people use 60 to 80 pound braid around here and I use 20 pound mono. Welcome in Fundy Kid as well, by the way. Good to have you here. I just think I like to have a little bit of a fight, you know, when I catch the fish. But that might just be me, you know, maybe... Maybe people enjoy just being able to reel them in straight away. But I feel like there should be some kind of a, a fight, some kind of a catch um, when doing it. To to add a little bit of a suspense, make it a little bit difficult, and all of that. Okay, thank you for at least looking. No worries, no worries. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, like I always say, I will try and answer them as best I can. And... If I don't have an answer, I'll go and try and find an answer. Because those are all things, you know, that you should know before buying a game. Like, it might be something small, but it's definitely something, something important to consider all around. All right, let's try one different lure here. What do we want to try? You know what, let's try a jerk bait. Let's throw that out there. And let's see if we can catch anything with that. We should probably let that sink real quick. When I see a fish right next to it as well. Oh, yeah. At least there should be one since it's just jumped out the water. But let's have a look. Come on. this speed we're getting them out quite quickly let's slow it down maybe let's see if we can't maybe get something here on this little little river bank I mean we caught a diamond earlier in a tiny pond so I don't see why we couldn't get like a gold or something in a lake like this but we might also be using too small oh, too big of a hook essentially for them to be able to get the fish because I have noticed that. I have noticed that when I start using the the bigger lures, um, I usually get less fish biting in general. But maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Maybe something in the way that I'm doing it is just hindering the fish from actually biting them then. So, just got to learn that more. Uh, agree hundred percent. The hit and the fight is the best part. Oh, 100%. It definitely is. Like, if you just reel them in one by one very quickly, there's just... It, it'll get boring after a while, so you need some kind of challenge. Uh, can you fish on a float with several rods or just one? Flex, you currently can only use um, one rod at a time. Um, but I'm hoping that at some point in the future we'll get some kind of an update that changes that so that we can use uh, multiple rods at the same time. Have maybe like two floats set up and then use the spinning um, a spinning rod on a different on a different setup. I feel like that would be would, it, would be like something something they should consider doing. But let's try lock one more time with probably my favorite bait that we have. And see if we can't catch something on that. By the way, how is stream looking in terms of quality on here? Because I'm curious how YouTube compresses this game, uh, especially when live streaming. Uh, like, I would love to know how that's doing. Oh, maybe we should slow this down a little bit here. Now let's cut this line, get a little bit closer to the water. Actually, no, let's get on this rock here. It's good? Okay. 
Thank you very much. Alright, let's look. Can we see any fish in here, maybe? I think it's too muddy, though. Yeah, no, it's too muddy. Alright, let's throw way out there again. Slow it down to two. And then, let's go reeling in. Come on. The bitrate looks just fine. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, we're currently going at about... 4100. We're going between like 4000 and 4200. That's kind of where we're jiggling in between on the bitrate. So we should be fine for 1080p, 60 frames a second. But I know YouTube can sometimes be a little bit finicky with that. And push it down to like 1080, 30 or 720, 60. Which, you know, is the ideal. For for showing awesome graphic game with, you know, awesome graphic stream. Let's try and get one more fish. If we can't get one here within the next, what, five minutes? We'll, we'll go to like the, the golden lake, as I like to call it. Because... Oh, fish back there. I see you, bugger. There we go. Ah, we don't have enough. Enough leeway here. Alright, let's see. Maybe we can still attract them. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I see it back there. I see the fish. It's nothing huge. Looks to be a bass. Maybe like a silver sized. Yeah, but I doubt that would bite on this lure right here. I think this is overall pretty much a bass lake. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be catching much other things than bass. So let's try and at least get what that one back there. See if we can maybe influence by using this right over here. Where do we see anything else? No, I think that's the only way it was something. Uh, maybe there are extra fishing glasses in the shop. There are. You can get uh, different uh, sunglasses in the store if you want to. Uh, we can go there in just a second. In a second. Even though this is just early access, how would you stack this against the other fishing games uh, like Russian Fishing 4 or Fishing Planet? So like I said, I haven't played Fishing Planet too much as I thought that was too much of a grind to play and just kind of like, in quotes, pay to win. Nothing against the game. I know a lot of people love it. I just know it wasn't a game for me. Um, but I think this has a good chance to compete with those games. Um, especially if you want something not quite pay to win, but like where you have to pay for the game. I think that is where this game is going to really excel. Plus this being open world, it adds a whole new element in the genre of, of fishing games. And I see that fish coming in there. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Uh, he, he stood no chance. This guy stood zero chance coming in. Oh, a yellow perch gold. Very nice. Pump, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Russian Fishing 4. Um, again, haven't played that game too much as well. But what I can kind of say, if you know Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, and I know I mentioned this a lot today, I think it's kind of in between, like, in terms of difficulty level, uh, in between... Fishing Planet and Fishing Sim World Pro Tour because I think Fishing Planet in most people's eyes is like the true iconic like simulation fishing game and Fishing Sim World Pro Tour is like the arcade game it's like the game you have zero idea about fishing or you know a good bit about fishing both people can play that game and have success in that game and you don't always have to wait too long to get a fish. Whereas in Fishing Planet, you have to know something about fishing to be good in that game. Or to at least achieve something. And I think this game kind of meets in the middle. Where if you know nothing about fishing, you can still learn everything in this game and get far. But if you know a lot about fishing, you'll be fine in this game. You'll enjoy it. You'll like the challenge. And you can kind of push yourself. And really challenge yourself in that sense. Again, that is only my perspective. I don't have more than like 20 hours in planet fishing. 
I do have, I think, 40 or 60 hours in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour or maybe even more. So that's kind of the best comparison that I can give you here right now. And I hope that helps you a little bit. But if you really want a true comparison, I would ask somebody like BZ Hub in one of his streams because I know he plays Fishing Planet quite a lot. Um, and I know he has also played Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. So he might be the better person to ask for a specific question about comparing it to another game. Um, that I don't know. So that's the best way I can say. Very well said. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I hope that made sense. Uh, when will this game be released? So on PC, this game will be released on the 31st of August. Just like Flex said, their console, we do not have an official release date. And ooh, do you see what I see down there? Um, on console, we do not have an official release date yet, but I would assume later on in the year for console, I am just not 100% sure on that right now. No, I understand what you're saying. Thank you. Just trying to get other opinions. I understand. No worries. And again, like I said, I hope I could help you out there in one way or another. But as somebody who doesn't know really much about fishing in IRL... I really do enjoy this game and I have gotten hooked and yes pun intended <laughs> I have gotten hooked on this game and I have really been enjoying the hours that I have put in here especially being able to talk with some of the other creators on what they're doing finding out their tips it's it's been great fun and I think once the whole community gets access to the game the whole community feeling is just going to be through the roof um, are there any plans to catch on feeder or a donkey in the game? Alex Fresh, welcome in. I actually have no idea on that. That would be something to ask um, on the stream at 6 p.m. Central European Summertime uh, over on Expansive Worlds channel next Monday. Uh, as you will have, I assume, Jaxi is probably going to be on there. And he might be able to give you some information on that. But that sounds something that would come with a DLC in the future, so I doubt that they have any ability to talk about that right now, since the game is just releasing. And they'll have console on their mind, they'll have trying to put out the best release they can on their mind currently. But that would be something that you could ask him there, and try and get his opinion on. Uh, and see what he has to say, and look at that. There we go. Got ourselves one more rainbow trout in. And he has a silver. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for fishing today. I will very quickly go one more time to the store to show you guys all the bells and whistles that you can actually buy here. And then for anybody that wants to see more gameplay, we are going to be back again tomorrow doing some more fishing sim. Uh, not fishing sim. We're going to be playing some more The Angler call the wild and yeah what i was asking about the glasses there are this many glasses that you can buy it's crazy um and yeah look you can get hats you can also get some bucket hats shorts long pants a bunch of tops long sleeves short sleeves jackets thermal hoodies gloves with finger fingerless sneakers rubber and different hiking shoes. Obviously equipment, there's a lot. There's spinning, bait casting, match rods, reels for spinning and bait casting, lines, you have monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided. For lures, we have spinner bait, spinner, popper, frog, spoon, swim bait, jerk bait, and crank bait. We have, what is that? 14 different types of hooks. We have natural baits, live baits, there are floats, five of them in total. Then you get light jig heads, medium jig heads, and heavy jig heads. Going all the way from 10 to, what would that be, 4 over 0? Zero, zero? I don't even know what you would call this type of, of hook, to be quite honest with you. And then obviously you also get a total of 13 soft plastics to play around with. And you can buy yourselves, what did we say this was, 14 boats, 12 cars, and you do have the cars 
that you get at the beginning. And let me quickly show you the cars. I showed you both the boats earlier, but I didn't show you guys the cars. So you get this one, which is like a Avalanche Studios design truck, which I find looks quite cool. I like this one. I like the orange and black combo. And then you also get yourself a green car as well, which I guess the game doesn't like me spawning in a car on top of another car. There we go. <laughs> there it is. And that is what the other car looks like that you get. And this is what it actually looks like when you drive. Currently, there's no support for third person driving. Um, I know some people that I've talked to had a problem with driving in first person. Personally, I don't have an issue with it. Um, but if you uh, get motion sickness very quickly, this might be an issue. And I know that they said, I think that, at least I think, uh, I think they said that they're planning on adding a third person. Um, uh, that they're adding, oh, let's just get out of here <laughs> before I make one of you guys sick. Um, and I think they're planning on adding third person, but don't quote me on that. I am not a hundred percent sure there. Um, you know how it will be for multiplayer? Yeah, so I can actually quickly go into multiplayer if you want. So in options, usually this here will be on. And then you'll just, whenever you join a game, you will directly be placed on a multiplayer server when you join in with random people. Um, sometimes, well currently there's not many people online, but let's look if I'm online with somebody. Um, no, nobody here right now. Uh, you know what, let me quickly go to main menu and rejoin. Because I don't know how quickly it actually joins in when you've been playing on single player. Alright, now we give it a second to connect to a multiplayer session. Um, unless nobody's playing right now. Or they're all on different parts of the world, like that I can't connect to. Oh no, there we go, look, there's somebody. Actually, there's two people there. So this is how you find other people, and then you just hunt, uh, not hunt, then you just go fish together online. Uh, there is currently no chat feature in here, um, but I'm sure there's probably going to be one at some point in the future for that as well. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed our first stream on the angler call the wild again thank you to ew for giving me this opportunity for sharing this with you thank you all of you guys for being so supportive in the stream today being positive not making a fuss asking questions giving feedback on the game that is greatly appreciated and i will definitely add some of the things that you guys have noted into the list that i'm creating to send them so yeah thank you very much if you guys did enjoy, like I always say, please make sure to go ahead and smash that like button as it really helps the stream out a lot. And again, I don't know how much I can say thank you. You guys have been amazing today. Like, you have just been freaking crazy. Thank you, everybody. I will catch you guys tomorrow. If you guys want to know when we're streaming tomorrow, make sure to go ahead and join the Discord. I will pop the link in chat real quick. Um... But with that being said, have a good one. Bye-bye. And peace.